The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? Oh, blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, same. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty Gurman, a.k.a. Cracker with a hard R. And alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Woo! (sighs) I have never been more ashamed to be a cracker in my life. Yes! I think that fits me perfectly. The whitest dude you know. You know what fits you perfectly? What's a that? A garbage can. <laughs> Probably. A fucking casket. Yep. And a returning guest, excellent comedian, one of your favorites, Mr. JP. Woo! Yeah, that was a little late on the Sorry. applause, but Sorry. that's okay. Yeah. They, couldn't, oh they were stunned. They, they couldn't were, yeah, believe you like, Oh, my here. God, he's back. We've been begging. <laughs> they no have, way! I, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. They, Which they they have. they've been sitting here watching us for the last half hour. You would have thought they would have, <laughs> have grown used to it by now. Right. That's why we couldn't get the, start, the show started before now. Right. Because they were just in shock. Right, right. Well, anyways, guys, welcome to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. If this is the very first time that you've listened to one of these episodes, first of all, welcome. Second of all, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports. Also, uh, they make jokes about me, and I'm okay with it. Also, this is an adult yeah. podcast where we like to, uh, you know, use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you, and bye. Bye, JP. See Go ahead. Yeah, see you later. <clears throat> uh, but anyways, uh, we've got an excellent episode. Happy to have JP back. Uh, we've got some sports news. We've got real shit, horseshit, bad advice with Jeremy, overrated, underrated, questions, preguntas, a draft, and as always, a shitty situation. But like nobody we, is sitting there going, what do we have today? I think they we are. We just get to I'm it when we get to it and fuck these fucking people. <laughs> I wonder what they're going to do. Oh, that doesn't sound oh, like fun. Same, We're going to shut it off. Same <laughs> shit as every goddamn every week. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, But as always, we like to start out our show with our week, week recap, telling everybody about our week. And for JP, what's uh, been going on with you for the last couple of weeks, man? Uh, Not a whole lot. Really? Nothing super exciting. Lots of work. A couple barbecues, graduations. You graduated? I didn't graduate. Oh. My niece did. Oh. Okay. From from high school? Yeah. One from high school and one from a culinary project. Uh, program at Butler County Community College. So they got a actually a pretty good culinary program. Um, yeah, there. it's really really good. Uh, we here. have a couple kids that work with me. I'm gonna that, do that. Uh, there you go. That went there and graduated from there too. So there's a local right. comedian awesome. who went there and she is a wonderful chef. Who's that? Katie Getty. Oh, oh she yeah. went there. No kidding. Yep. I love Katie. Yeah, yeah. Katie's yeah. awesome. She's amazing. and she's a hell of a chef. And she's also a comedian. Um, <laughs> she's, she's and she's also a comedian. She's she's a very funny comedian. Yeah. That's so mean. Wow. Just and last but not least, she does. She, she tries to be funny. She does not listen. She's funniest when she's not uh, trying to be. Yeah. Um, Her that's cooking is hilarious. A hell of an intro. I bet everybody wants to know who Katie is now. <laughs> right. We've talked about her before. Yeah, we yeah. have. That's cool. No, but what's been going on in your life, dude? Um, we haven't seen you in quite really, a while. Honestly, other than that, uh, I'm about to be homeless in two weeks. The, nice. So that's awesome. So anybody that's willing to take in a middle-aged gay man that will suck dick for rent, <laughs> uh, please contact the show. Uh, and uh, How much will. space do you require? Oh, really? A I corner? Mean, yeah, a corner will work. I, I mean... mean I don't want to give up one of our. Room. I don't want to give up one of our spare bedrooms, but uh, you know you can uh, always have like a broom closet. Oh, well, broom closet's more than enough Fair space. Enough. All right. I didn't, yeah, I don't have anything really. 
we'll, like, we'll put of, you sub- a, of substance. We'll put you a vertical hammock in there. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. He's, yeah. Well, I don't know if you guys knew this, but gay people sleep like bats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I did know that. Okay. Yeah. yeah so we yeah. already got you yeah, so a good. dowel rod right. hanging across so you can just awesome. grab onto that with your talons. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, I didn't want to bring this up because huh. I don't want to feel like I'm bragging, but I'm a bowler. You're a bowler. I didn't know if you guys knew that. I didn't want to Jesus hit you with Christ, that. Jesus Christ, you're a one. real fucking athlete. I know, I know. Uh, so I started a new bowling league on Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh, scratch league, it's, it was a lot of fun. Did uh, you make a wager on that you couldn't cover, and that's why you're going to be homeless? No, uh, I'm going to be homeless because my roommates uh, put the house on the market mm. and is sold it, it in a day. Is yeah. it theirs to sell? It is theirs to sell, okay. son of a bitches. Because I oh, got Did accused. you think I owned it? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it. I, I, I thought you were all renting. I don't own renting. anything, man. No, I, uh, I, got a, I got a phone call from a friend one time while he was on vacation going, hey, man, uh, did you put my house up for sale? <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, but I wish I would have. <laughs> but I wish I would have. No, so there's that. And uh, really, honestly, that's about it. Yeah? I'm pretty boring. That's okay. That's all right. Homelessness is a fucking rad you know what that's like the best way to adult really you know go go i mean i have a car i guess so my car is my home yeah technically am i still homeless sleep in the trunk man that's true that way nobody can get me exactly (laughs) <laughs> no, you know, you know, you know, in basketball, wherever they uh, let you can't sleep upside down in the trunk. Come no, on, man, you can't. Uh, but Unless you're driving a Cadillac. You ever watch basketball? Whenever uh, Squeak gets to live with them, they put him in a little corner in like the dog bed. <laughs> nope, that's the part I turned off. Oh, okay. Fine. I've watched all the rest of that movie. Yeah, except maybe. for that. But yes, I know the I know the part you're talking about. I've heard rumors. Yeah. Well, um, I had a I had an excellent week. Uh, me, oh, oh, what do you? One got? more thing I did. Go do. for it. Uh, last week. I took a tour of a, a an aircraft facility. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. Oh yeah. And I made a poop, <laughs> and I just left it in the hallway. We got it. We nailed him, Jeremy. It's Sweet. right here. So yeah, great. Anyways, uh, I, had I a- know for a fact they would not let you through the security <laughs> gate. <laughs> you have to have a pass. Oh, JP. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, no, I had an excellent week. Uh, I got to take my wife. And, uh, and you, have, they, you have to not suck dick. Oh. That's, if you suck the guard's dick, that's how they know. Don't let him in. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, that's a rule? It's fucking weird. Oh, my. Dude, we got all kinds of weird rules in aircraft. It's okay. Fucking FAA, dude. Yeah, right. Uh, but anyways, I had an excellent week. I got to take my wife out to a nice dinner for the first time in several months. Uh, I was really excited about that. Got to go to Sumo. That's uh, is hmm? that is that oh. the place where you had that one guy that no that shut was up? Kobe oh uh, Kobe okay. um, but no sumo. sumo is good as well that's uh, that's Super out fancy. east by the uh, I mean nothing but the best for your wife yeah. did you uh, did you have to wear a diaper that's good no I did no. not oh. why would I have to wear a diaper sumo I mean, you wrestling wear a diaper jack- everywhere oh else. yeah 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 I'm sorry you don't know from Japanese culture. no I don't I don't like I have that's right your the, wife is Japanese the fucking nightmare that I'm a mold in <laughs> right. Uh, but no, uh, for, guess what, though? All mm. of the food that they give you every single time, you always go home with, with leftovers, right? I eat everything. I no, had I no have, to-go I have box. never taken a leftover from there. Really? Only, only women... That's it. Only, <laughs> that's it. That's only, it. And only, that's it. I, I don't know because it is too fucking good. Uh, I, I eat everything. I throw the vegetables away. Yep. And uh, yeah, that's... Well, sometimes those will go in my wife's... Uh, to go box yep. if I really feel like torturing her because mm-hmm. she'll eat them. Right. Oh, God, you should have seen the bullshit she ate this weekend. I oh. don't know what the fuck it was. It was some sort of gelatinous cube cake stuff. Tofu? No, no. Uh, I'll have to okay. get back with her. Updates next week. Got it. Um, um, so, yeah, I did that. Uh, I also, uh, like I was saying last year, you know, I told, I told everybody that I was in a, a, a fantasy football league, American football, but with a group of Australian guys. Mm-hmm. It's a dynasty league, and uh, unbeknownst to me, we had our rookie draft without me knowing. I, I had no idea this was fucking going on. I started getting all these fucking notifications on my phone. It's like, Scooter, you're up. I'm like, what the fuck are you guys talking about? Turns out I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of a fucking draft. I've been on the clock for 24 hours. Had absolutely no idea. Um, why are we drafting? It's fucking May. Jesus Christ. The NFL drafted in April, dude. Come on. So? You're behind the fucking times. Anyways. Uh, Is it May in Australia? Uh, that's a good point. <laughs> it's winter. It's, yeah, so, it's football weather down there. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, but no, I, I'm I'm excited. I, I got that shit on auto drafts, so and I don't have to really participate. Um, I didn't even know they had internet down there. Uh, yeah, right. Well, it's it's ran by kangaroos. They uh, they they are the sole proprietor of of uh, internet and Wi Fi. Internet brought yeah. to you by, by kangaroos. <laughs> by, by kang- <laughs> just just <laughs> fucking kangaroos. <laughs> no, it's not a brand or anything. No. Just brought to you by huge hopping marsupials. <laughs> they, just, they just basically started attaching a dish to each mm-hmm. kangaroo. Right. And as they hop around, yeah, you know, it's spotty. Right. It's spotty, but uh, <laughs> sometimes you get really good reception. Right. The by pit- by big deer with pockets <laughs> and boxing gloves <laughs> right kangaroos they will kick the that shit is out the of best you. you could do for australia <laughs> just kangaroos kangaroos um but yeah there's that and then uh i i was actually turns out ca- kangaroos are just fucking rich as hell and they can sponsor things really they could they, I mean, they got deep bunch. pockets. Yeah, <laughs> boom <laughs> give me a rim shot thank you you're welcome anytime god damn it i'm good you are good um, um, there's another thing that I really wanted to do. This is no bullshit. I really want people to do this. Um, so we did a video and it was about how, uh, real shit or horse shit. Uh, it is okay to tell your wife to calm down in the middle of the argument in an argument. Right. Mm-hmm. So here is my challenge that I want people to do. I want people to stitch this video and then make a video of him telling his wife yeah, right. to calm down and see so that we can get what more murder on tape. That's, ex- <laughs> that's exactly right. Because we don't have enough of that these days. That's right. So here's my challenge. I want you to make this video. Is it okay for you to tell your wife to calm down in the middle of an argument? No. Stitch this <laughs> no. with a video and go with that. You know what's really fun to do? Mm. Start up a conversation with your wife and start it with, okay, now just stay calm. All right. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> Don't freak out, and then just and then say, say something anything, totally mu- right. mundane. Yep. Oh God, she'll get so dead silent, and you'll see her eyes start turning into evil. Um, I put new string on the weed eater today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Don't fucking freak out. Okay. Don't Calm down. Out. That's right. Calm down. Um, the next thing I want to do is I did want to give, we don't normally do this, uh, but we had a very nice fan uh, that's been listening to us since we were uh, the Unfiltered Sportscast, which I thought was pretty neat. This is Micah Anthony Baird. He sent us a message that I guess on Saturday morning, he and his wife had a uh, new baby at 331 in the morning. Now, here's the deal. I don't want to give a shout out to Micah or his wife. No, fuck them both. Fuck them, fuck both. them both. I want to give a shout out to that baby. That baby is probably going to be a laughing on the sidelines fan forever, right? Uh, maybe not likely. I can't imagine oh, this show going to go on forever. Time, yeah, I was going to yeah. say by uh, the time that baby can even <laughs> comprehend what's going on here, no. well, this show is going to be long gone. Once Stitcher know. and iTunes figure out how to start canceling people, yeah. <laughs> right? It, this show's gone. Yeah, pretty pretty quick uh, for a fact. That's exactly right. But anyways, uh, shout out to them. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, hope hope your baby is healthy and way to keep polluting the earth with your sp- <laughs> with your spawn. <laughs> right. Uh, no, yeah. congratulations. Congratulations. Absolutely. Anyway. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, that was my week. All right, Jeremy. Uh, I wish I had better stories from this this year. Last year, I had a pretty good one. Uh, but it was garage sale weekend. Oh, yay. Uh, at the nice. house. Um, You're just, having a garage sale? Y- we did, yeah. yeah. Uh, That's always you, so much fun. You want to talk. My, <laughs> my wife is miserable every second of it, and yet she insists on doing this. She's. It's always hot. It's always miserable. And it is just a never-ending parade of white trash. you damn just, right. And this year, just so we didn't have a mishap like last year, we covered everything in the garage with with bed sheets. Right. We put all my tools, the workbench, the table saw, the fucking drill press, all the shelves, everything. We put it on there. We clamped everything. We get it, man. You got lots of stuff. Yeah, I got <laughs> I got way more stuff than you. You don't even have a home. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> but uh, for two weeks, I still do. we right. we. <laughs> Clipped everything together with clothespins, and yet people still come in and What's look behind the, the sheet? fucking sheets. <laughs> Is this stuff for sale? Uh. No! <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, we did that. We didn't want to put it out with all the rest of the shit and make it obvious that everything in there's for sale. You dumb fucks. And, okay, after, I'm going to say one out of five people. <laughs> Are you did, serious? Yeah. Somebody tried to offer you $250 for that table saw? 
No, no, <laughs> they didn't, because it was covered up behind me. <laughs> okay. Um, I wasn't out there actually a whole lot, and and I found out how to get out of garage sale duty, Dude. which is to yell at somebody for doing that once they look back there. <laughs> After seeing 25 people do this, I finally went, can I help you with something? <laughs> uh, well, we're just looking to see what all you got. Everything we got is out here. <laughs> so none of this is for sale? Why would it be? <laughs> <laughs> and they just left. <laughs> and your wife says, go inside. Yeah, pretty much. Right? <laughs> and it's like, you can't talk to the customers like that. They're not customers. The customers. <laughs> They're the customers. What is that against corporate go policy? Fuck yourself. <laughs> Somebody going to get with the fucking store manager? Uh, oh, yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> Owner, manager, proprietor, right. all that good One stuff. One person asks about that fucking drill press. I'm going to chuck up a bit in it, hold your hand under there, fucking go right through it. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll pierce your hand Jesus style. That's what I'll do. <laughs> oh, poor Jesus. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, Jesus. Mowed my lawn. <laughs> Uh, I always got to throw that in there. I don't know why, but I did mow my lawn. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if I watched anything on TV. Oh, yes, I did. There's a documentary series. This might be up your alley. Probably not, Scotty, but uh, a documentary series on Netflix now about Three Mile Island. Mm-hmm. I know you like a Chernobyl shit. I do love it. This wasn't near as gruesome, and I think most of the people are lying their fucking asses off and just panicking over nothing. You know what I did not realize about that? What? About Three Mile Island? Oh. I always thought it had been, like, just deserted. Uh-huh. It stayed open until 2019. No shit! Yes. Like, uh, in one of the X-Men Origins, the Wolverine uh -huh. movie, yeah. that's like the secret island where they're doing all these fucking mutant experiments because uh -huh. nobody goes out there. No, that's a working fucking power plant. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a secret place what really? the fuck yeah i'll be damned so fuck those people fuck <laughs> fuck the x-men <laughs> fuck wolverine fuck, fuck wolverine. you jackman <laughs> <laughs> and fuck you scotty okay well that's that's that's, just that's all i got that's all <clears throat> oh man poor jesus yeah, yeah he's poor jesus, guy jesus. he had it hard yeah <laughs> he took a whipping <laughs> jesus he has risen and he's mm -hmm. inside of me and he will come again <laughs> now, now, see, now you're just crossing the line, Scotty. I know, I know. I'm we have boundaries on this show. Fuck, we do? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. Nope. All right. Well, we've got a lot of sports to get to. Uh, but before we do, we want to say thank you to our sponsor of this great show and every episode, JP's favorite product, Manscaped.com Lawnmower 4.0. Love it. And you know what I mean? You know I'm here. You know he's so here. you know what that means. That's right. What is 50 percent off <laughs> that's right if no. you, if i get to come over and show you how to use it <laughs> have you had to make good on that guarantee yet i mean i i you know have you ever heard of don't ask don't tell yeah i, I have same situation okay okay I mean, fair enough you yeah. should know that this is not the military well <laughs> <laughs> some of the guys who you some may of, have that may not be true <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> great Closer uh, than you think. Right. Uh, but no, <laughs> Man manscaped.com. They have excellent products to help you shave your balls. <laughs> they weren't military, but they were Civil War reenactors. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> In uniform. Oh, right. The musket on this wall. Mm. Oh. <laughs> the musket on that guy. The creators. Grab my bayonet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The creators of the Lawnmower 4.0. Excellent product to help you shave your balls without cutting your balls, which that's very important. If very you, important. If you, yeah. If you, try, if you don't believe me, try using a beard trimmer let me know how that goes mm -hmm. um, but they have other products as well they have uh, the weed whacker which is to help get rid of your nose hair nose and hair. Your ear yeah. hair yeah yep. that's very important um, they've got uh, the uh, the grooming kit or what did you call that the manicure kit oh uh, the uh, shears yeah they got oh, the yeah. shears out there those are very they impressive. are good I'm, I'm in need of a manicure uh huh and I have a, a full blood Asian at the house actually half wow. blood half, half, uh, half yeah, blood half blood is she a princess she is not <laughs> oh, a, damn it she yes. watches enough fucking Harry Potter TV. But, uh, <laughs> I, I believe that shit. Um, but also, they have a whole bunch of other products, including things like cologne, like uh, Refined, which both Jeremy and myself do wear. Excellent mm -hmm. product that gets you all uh, all the chick. And, and for JP, all the dudes. And dudes my are. favorite, the ball toner. Yeah, the ball yes. toner. <laughs> I don't use it on my balls. I do use just a dab or two <laughs> under the eyes. 
<laughs> and right here on the cheekbones, fellas. That's <laughs> uh, keep yourself nice and tight. That's right. Wait a minute. That's not for the balls of your feet. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's where I've been. Oh no, oh, son of a bitch. That's why. No my, wonder it hurts when you walk. That, that's <laughs> why my <laughs> testicles keep stinking. <laughs> okay. Well, no, they my actually, feet smell amazing. I was actually going to touch on that because it is right around the time of the year where it's getting ready to start getting hot. Right. It is. State of Kansas. It's, it's already it's, gotten hot. It's already gotten it hot. It was in the 90s this week. That's exactly oh right. God. And for those gentlemen out there that uh, are not like Jeremy, that have stinky nuts after you've had a hard day's work, they have a product, which is the ball deodorant. That helps your nuts not smell like Fomunda. Excellent product from Manscaped.com. Do us a favor. Go and check them out. Manscaped.com. Use the uh, promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order. Not 50. And free. 50 if you let me come <laughs> oh, over and show you, you how to use it. Got it. it. Um, and, uh, now, what if they live out of state? Do they have to pay travel expenses? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so I it can't really afford. doesn't hardly I can't seem. afford to live. <laughs> But you think I can afford sure. to fly out to Atlanta to show some dude how to shave his balls? Right. JP actually has to borrow their house in order to show right. them. That's kind of a package yeah. deal. Well, why You better be good at it. Oh, I'm very good. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, 20% off of your order using the promo code sidelines and free shipping. So take advantage of that. That helps you out. It helps us out and lets Manscaped know that we are reading these commercials word for word because they're really important and stuff. Manscaped.com. Thank you very much. Okay. Wow. We're going, we're going pretty quick, guys. Feel free to, to Keep it go, tight, go off on tangents if you let's want to. Let's just try and get out of here in under a half hour. What do you say? Nah, yeah. Let's do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, well, first uh, thing we're going to get to sports news. JP's is, got to pack. Yeah, JP uh, does yeah, have to dude, pack. I've only got a couple weeks left. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, first thing we're going to get to, I don't know if you guys heard. Uh, It'll take me three minutes to pack. I'm sure, yeah, <laughs> with all the stuff that you have. Yeah, I'll and, put it all in my pocket, yep. and then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> in the, all of it, huh? All of it, in the brick of, of marijuana in his backpack. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's in the backpack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, for sure. Uh, if that's your luggage, you got, like, rollaway pockets? Yeah. That you take to the airport? That'd oh, yeah. be nice. You don't yeah. want to just drag pockets no. around carrying them? Fuck no, 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 no. no. Uh, but anyways, those of you guys that do not know, Wichita, where we are from, has a uh, arena football team. Did you guys see this? The Force. The a Force. Again? Again. Y yeah. Or is this still? They've been several different. We've I had don't, several. Uh, no, uh, we've had several. We've had several, but this one but I think been, this is new, yeah. Uh, well, I think they've been around for, for, a for a little bit, like two, three years. I don't think they've been around for very long. Okay. Well, two or three years, we, that's enough to hear from them. Okay, that's true. I mean... The only reason why I'm bringing this up is because they have definitely spent some money on Facebook advertising because over the last week, mm -hmm. I have seen more promotions about them selling tickets, guys. So I get, uh, I get a promotion that says, hey, special price, one ticket, $10. Mm -hmm. I keep scrolling and maybe about 20 minutes later, get the package <laughs> deal. Two tickets <laughs> for $20. Whoa, Holy hold the shit. phone. Wait a minute. Then it gets even better. Oh, can't get better than gets that. Gets better. Oh, yeah. Next one Not I get. Not three for 30. No, they skip no? one. Nope. Family package. Four tickets. Mm hmm. $40. No way. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hang well, on here. Let go. me. I got to hang on here. <laughs> 40 divided by <laughs> 10. 10. Or equals. divided by four. No, yeah. it's 10. You're yeah. right. No. Yeah, no, trust me, I know what's up. So think of the savings. I mean, that's a great deal. It's no wonder we've never heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That, dude, yeah, you're, yeah. you're saving deal. zero dollars. <laughs> you're saving a total of zero dollars. <laughs> and zero you get to go cents. watch shit football. <laughs> that's exactly so right. That Definitely hop on board for that. Right. So just in case you want to go to a Wichita Forest Arena football game, you guess what? You better have at least $10. You got to have 10 <laughs> bucks for a fucking ticket. There ain't no... Promotion. I'm, I'm going to camp out for tickets. You should. Because you, might you know that there that. won't be any. At, at those rates, Jesus. Yeah, that's right. You know, most people are going to buy four. Yeah. They have to. For that price, I mean, why right. not? Scalp a couple then. That's right. Oh, Put yeah. them on StubHub. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe get 42 out of it. Yeah, right. <laughs> for, for all four. I think they play in an arena that seats somewhere along the lines of like 4,500 people. I will, I will almost guarantee they will have like 200 people there. Oh, Wow, yeah. really? Well, don't they play at 200 uh, is 200? a lot. Okay. Huh? Hartman, Hartman Arena? Yeah. Yeah, I bet you that yeah, they... Probably a couple hundred. I, I bet you they get 800 to 1,000 again. Okay, all right. Well, that's fair. That's, but that's they, generous. Jeremy. I know that they do a lot of... Uh, promo giveaway tickets and stuff like that. Okay. So I doubt that they have these, okay. these prices. Holy yeah, they're shit. practically giving, giving them away. away now. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. 10 bucks a seat 
ain't bad. <laughs> yeah. It's, they're fun. I've been to, not the force. They were the uh, Wichita. Warlords at Warlords. one time and the War, Wichita I think Stealth. They, they were the Stealth when I saw them. Mm-hmm. Can I can I tell my story about that? Fuck yeah. Uh, their quarterback was a former star standout at uh, K-State. Uh, oh, God damn it. I can't even think. Jonathan Beasley. Okay. And uh, he had gotten drafted in a late round by the 49ers, but had some kind of an injury in training camp, so he didn't make the team. And um, after the game, this was the last game of the season, and I had caught a souvenir football that they threw up in the stands. And um, I was really anxious to meet him, and they were going to be coming out on the field and signing autographs afterwards. So I take this souvenir ball up there to him and have him sign it, and I just... With the rest of the 12-year-old kids. <laughs> I don't think they were that old. But yeah. anyway, <laughs> it was like when he was, uh, you know, defensive player of the year. Right. Award winner in right. The right. Year um, anyways, uh, I just said, uh, hey, it's nice to meet you. I've been a fan of yours for a long time. And he just went, whatever. I'm sure he did because he's, yeah. <laughs> and I so badly wow. wanted to go, fuck you. You play arena football now. I right. could probably make this team, you prick. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? I was legitimate. I don't know if he thought I was being, like, if I was being sarcastic. Well, if there were 40 kids standing around and then you. <laughs> and there's Jeremy. And no, in his line, I was the only, <laughs> really? the the only, only person. person in his line. Wow. But I really did want to meet him. I mean, he, he beat Nebraska. He won a Cotton Bowl with him. All right. Uh, so, I mean, he, he was a good college quarterback. There you go. And, uh, and oh, how the mighty him have fallen. Have made your life. Yeah complete yeah if he would have been nice i did meet him. if you would have been nice and it did make my life complete now okay. i know to he's hate this guy yeah, now i know he's a dick <laughs> um all right that's, that's weird that's, that's weird how his whole right. life fell apart he went from being a pro football player to playing arena football and he's not a jubilant guy yeah that's hard to believe no kidding i would be ecstatic I if i was playing too. arena football <laughs> in the middle west yeah after i <laughs> fucked myself out of a 49ers gig <laughs> right. yeah oh i don't think he was gonna make the team anyway <laughs> well but, well then he has no reason yeah he should be happy he should uh, and anyways, moving on, we're going to go with this one. Uh, as I was mentioning fantasy football earlier, um, there was a man from Kansas that finished dead last in the U.S. Open qualifier to fulfill a fantasy football league punishment. That's fucking great. That is awesome. Way to hold up your end of the bargain. Right, Jeremy? What, he played I mean, in it. That yeah, was his... Well. He did, but he did what he was supposed to. to. He had to get dead last. I think he just well, sucked. And that's, he I was going to say, down. it's a guy wait, from Wichita. He's probably going to get dead last anyway. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, wait In a the minute. U.S. Open? Yeah. yeah no, he's getting one dead of the last qualifiers. Anyway. It's one of the okay, qualifiers. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that those are just held like at local golf courses. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know US, much about golf because I'm not a fucking dork. The US hey, Open. yo. Uh, I apologize. Hey. I apologize. Anybody with a PGA Tour card automatically gets to be in it, but then it's also open to amateurs. So Happy Gilmore will be there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's got his card. He does. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, you can also get into it by winning a series of qualifying Chubbs tournaments. Right. Will, he, will Chubbs be there? Yeah, he Chubbs. Died. I saw a movie today with him in it. Yeah. Really? Which one? Uh, happy Gilmore? Uh, semi-tough. <laughs> <laughs> semi-tough? Mm-hmm. Never heard of it. It's, a, it's yet it's another a football movie where... Uh, it's where Burt Reynolds it's plays a quarterback. It's the sequel to Kind of Tough. <laughs> it's about truck drivers. Oh, okay. No, it's a football movie where, once again, Burt Reynolds plays quarterback. Oh. Um, anyways, uh, what, uh, what are we doing now? Uh, nothing. I was going to move on if you wanted Let's me move to. On. Uh, next one. Way to keep the flow going, guys. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing. But anyways, I'm just wondering, was his punishment that he had to come in last? <laughs> I don't know. Now or... I remembered what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, we the minute you were about to move on, he's like, oh, yeah, that's oh, yeah. right. We were talking about this guy. Or was his punishment to play in this tournament knowing he would be I believe dead last? It's that. Last. I, yeah. I believe that he had to play in the tournament. Everybody knew he was awful at golf, and he ended up getting dead last, and was kind of an embarrassment to. I hope he had I don't to borrow know why somebody's club. <laughs> I, like the guy he was playing with. Yeah, I don't get it. I feel like there could be better punishment. Uh, well, how is that embarrassing? I don't give a shit if I come yeah, dead last. Yeah, you get a free a round golf of tournament. golf. That's yeah, true. I mean, whoop de do. I I think it's I come in last in most things in life. I'm sure you do, and it doesn't bother me a bit. However, but, those guys are probably fairly good. Yeah, so I uh, would imagine that if you go out there and just suck oh, shit, you look like a you're holding everybody, everybody up. up. Everybody's pissed off at you. So what? Oh no, well, that's bad. 
Have you ever been? Have Believe it or not, some people don't like people being pissed off at them. I don't get it either. But yeah, whatever. Uh, oh no! If you if if you're kind of being a kind of a shitty golfer, it is not uncommon for somebody to hit into you. Yeah. Oh, I'll hit into him. Back. <laughs> That's what I would do. Yeah. Tee it up That's right in the middle of the enough. fairway. Hit him right yeah. back at him. Here, you right guys go up. ahead and play through. Yeah. Uh, play through. <laughs> hit it at me. I brought my glove for a reason. Right. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Anyways, moving on. Uh, next thing I got written down, uh, wide receiver for the Denver Broncos, Jerry Judy, got arrested <sighs> and then let out on bail for domestic dispute with his baby mama. Okay, man. Good first things first. Look, dude. And you're a Broncos fan. I am a Broncos fan. Yep. And it was a misdemeanor. And if it had happened anywhere else, anywhere, ever, you would never have heard about it. Correct. I don't think that it was as huge a deal as they want to make it out to be. They've been out for this guy since he started in the league. Uh Let me just say, any little thing that he does, they're going to be after him. And I don't really care because I don't think it's going to hurt him. I don't think that we're going to pull him. I don't think anything like that. I hope he goes out there and Russ Wilson just lights everyone up. And he is the star that he is going to be. I think he's going to be a good wide receiver, but I still think Russell Wilson's the third best quarterback in that division. So yeah, well, here's what I want to know. You're also a Chiefs fan, so nobody I am cares not what a Chiefs you think. fan. I you're am a not. super Chiefs fan. I am yeah, not dude. a fucking Chiefs he fan. He is a Chiefs fan. I am rooting for the Chargers this year. I will say it right now. Great. Go Chargers. Hey, man, I'm the gay guy on this panel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't be trying to hoard in on my action. <laughs> yeah, no shit. If anybody should like powder blues. Uh-huh. Yeah, easy, yeah. buddy. No. Uh, what did she say to deserve that? I have no idea. Because it's got to be her fault, right? I, every, yeah. I mean, look at this Amber Heard thing that is, I mean, this is exactly what's going on. We should not believe, you know what? The whole Me Too shit, no more. It's going to be guys only. Listen to the guy from now on. That's oh, a bold statement. Man, that is bold. Wow. <laughs> well, if we had any women that used to watch the podcast. <laughs> see ya. See ya. And we didn't. Um, yeah, there were none. No we bull. have a lot of junior high boys, no. and that's about it. <laughs> okay, well then, I am in the right place. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, boys. No. Remember, Manscaped. <laughs> yeah, no. No, we believe it or not, do actually have a, a couple females that listen to the show, and thank you to, the, the, thank you to them knowing that it's just a fucking joke. Uh, but no, as far as I know, with, with the article that I read, is that she's even trying to dismiss all of the charges, and the judge has not you, yet dismissed. They can't. Them. Once yeah. you once, once you the police clear. are called, it is no longer in the victim's hands. It is yeah. up to the state whether or not to prosecute it, and they are not going to give up on a fucking NFL player yeah. I guarantee, until they get paid off. Probably because they know he has money and he can pay all the fines. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, well, that's that. Uh, moving on, we are going to go off to some other football stuff. There was video footage of Tua Tukumvailoa uh, passing to Tyree Kill. Did you see this? And no. then, And the quote above the video said something along the lines of, like, uh, people worried about Tua throwing to Tyree Kill, mm-hmm. like saying that he's throwing bombs. He's just throwing straight fire. He underthrew Tyree Kill by at least 5 to 10 yards because Tyreek had to slow the fuck down. I think this is going to be a – constant thing with Tyree Kill and Tua. Probably. All season long. And that's the last thing you want is a guy under throwing your fucking receiver way downfield. Yeah. Especially Tyree Kill because that's going to get him killed. So they're just going to have to hit him sooner. They're not going to be able to get the huge plays. They'll hit him 15, 20 yards downfield right as soon as he blows past his guy. Mm. They just won't be able to wait as long. It won't be. He'll have to do some running afterwards. I, he knows. Oh, I don't know. Bro. I think you're, cr- dude. The Tyree kills too good. Tyree kills good. You're throwing to him, they'll find a way to get him the ball, oh. and he'll find a way to score. Oh no! Not if yeah. they're under throwing him. Like if they're under throwing no, him they, like that, they won't be. They'll well, run different routes. Even with they'll all fix of his, it. Even with all they're of his, they're professional speeds. football players, man. They're not just going to keep trying. I try, I try again. That's not what they'll they'll adjust. I don't know. They'll be fine, man. I You're think, worried about nothing. I'm You're a Chargers fan. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'll take it. I'm pulling for the chart. Chargers or the or the uh, Buccaneers. I no, you it. said Chargers. You kids. either or one. crap. I, either one. I, I will take a Tom Brady Super Bowl again. Fucking love Tom Brady. So that's the way I feel. But uh, but no, I actually think that I this would is love really for everybody to go back to the very first episode of this when it was called the Unfiltered Sportscast and listen to Scotty rant and rave <laughs> on how he hates Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. That's he is he, his least favorite player in the history of the NFL. I, that is a true statement. Stop this podcast right now. <laughs> Stop it. Go Stop back watching. And listen it. Never watch again. That was when he was a Patriot, and I he's fucking a hated pa- Patriots. Now he's a Buccaneer, and I like him all right. 
Uh, but anyways, all right, that's, that's enough for football. Let's move on to some playoff stuff. Uh, the NBA f- uh, conference finals are now set. It is going to be the Golden State Warriors versus the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, that's going to be the West- Western Conference title. And then uh, for the Eastern, you got the Celtics versus the Heat. So we, we don't have to worry about Giannis. No, no Giannis. Hmm. None. Luka, on the other hand, is a bad motherfucker. That dude is good. Enough said. Who do you got? So we got four teams to pick. Dallas. You think Dallas is going to win it all? I do. Oh, shit. I do. This is some This is some shit. I think you're fucking I right, do. though. I they're think scrappy, man. I think you're fucking I mean, right. And they're playing really good together right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I th- I think Dallas is going to end up winning this whole fucking thing. I, I, I think I think it actually I think it comes out of the West. I think it's oh either. for sure. I I, th- I I don't I don't hold me back on the Celtics. I think the Celtics are good, but I will take the Warriors or the Mavericks over them any day. That's yeah. what I got. Yeah. I think it's going to come down to Birmingham and Spokane. Okay. I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're wrong, and I'll make a bet on that right now. <laughs> You want to? No, you no, know. that'd just be easy money for me. <laughs> Spokane is they're dominant in the paint. They got they're the fundamentals do- they're down. Dominant in the paint. <laughs> yeah, they've got eight guys over seven foot four. Oh wow! So I want to point this out. This is a fun fact about uh, all of them white about that series uh, between the Suns. Uh, but Chris Paul has lost five series after starting the series two and zero. Oh. I believe I heard today that he had one point in the entire first half of that. Last game. game seven, yep. I would not be the least bit surprised. Yeah, yeah, he is has become kind of the NBA's premier choke artist. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, I uh, only because I'm not in the NBA. That's right. That's right. That's a gag artist. <laughs> <laughs> There's the joke. It's right there for you if you want it. <laughs> oh, I just found out before the show today. JP's gay. Um, <laughs> And my breath still smells like your dick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I just thought he was nice. I had a fun way of nice. shaking hands. I thought he was a nice guy. Uh, he's a great guy. <clears throat> All right, moving on to baseball. Uh, Adam Wainwright and Yadier Molina are the winningest battery in MLB history with 203 victories. As far as a tandem for pitchers and catchers, they have the most wins of any. They call it a battery, which I think is kind of dumb. But... Pitcher and catcher with the most wins. I think that's amazing. I think that's awesome. I love them both. It's it's going to probably be their last year. So it uh, made, made me all uh, nice and touchy-feely inside. Uh, but also, Albert Pujols ends up going on the mound and pitching the final inning of that. Kind of gets shelled a little bit, but he ends up getting I would out. hope so. He's a first baseman. Yeah. yeah. This is, I, what do you think about this? JP, though? you know pitchers and catchers. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> well, the t- when you have somebody in there like that, when they throw somebody in there like that to pitch, yeah. it really throws the timing off. It does. And you it, can it look sure back can. through history. Mm-hmm. when th- It's a move. It's a move. They know what they're doing. They're confident that it's going to be okay. Yeah. Well, nobody ever does it to win. And yeah, the batters no. usually aren't in their – looking for blood anymore no, they want right. to get the fuck out they of there they're leave. up by 12 runs right yeah. but at the same time whenever you're beating a team by 11 runs i believe that's what it was it was 15 to something and so you don't want to put in a a, a long relief guy or a middle relief guy you don't want to waste an arm right you don't want to waste right the other guys. exactly so you're going to see this i mean this is right. going to happen more and more often and we're seeing it more and more often so I still think it's kind of cool because now he's on an elite list. Albert Pujols and Babe Ruth were the last guys to hit. I think it was like over 600 and some home runs that were also pitchers. So he and Babe Ruth are like solely on that list. Are we putting him in the classification well, of pitchers now? That, okay. That is, yeah, I guess that that's is because, they, yeah. because he's got he's one inning. Now. One inning he technically. That's Ken Griffey Jr. never pitched? Nope. Huh. I don't think so. I don't know. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. Uh, the last thing uh, about sports that I want to talk about, and we can elaborate on this one a little bit because it's fucking crazy. The Cincinnati Reds' Hunter Green throws a no-hitter. I think it gets pulled in like the maybe eighth inning, something like that. And the 9-26 and 26 Reds still lose. I think this should be a running thing on the show because we did it last week. Just uh-huh. every week, something to shit on the Reds. Yes. Poor Joey Votto. I feel so bad for that motherfucker. He's one of the best things to happen to baseball, and he is on the Cincinnati fucking Reds. How do you do that? How do you throw a no-hitter? 
I always knew it was possible. It's possible. It's happened. Th- it's happened two other times in history, in, in Major League Baseball history. I think the and last. They were time- both the Cincinnati Reds. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who the other yeah. teams were. The, the original Cincinnati Reds, which are now the Atlanta Braves, they are the oldest franchise in all of baseball. So it possibly could have could happened have been. back then. Uh, the the most recent time to to this last week was uh, 1967. Was the last time that this has happened. So you wow. know that, but you don't know who it was. Don't know who it was. That's awesome. Yeah. But great, Don Drysdale. Great research. <laughs> John, <laughs> John Drysdale. John Drysdale. Uh, but no, how, I can't. I, I'm speechless. How in the fuck? It was a one shit? to nothing loss, right? One nothing. Your team couldn't have gotten you one fucking run. And you know that when they got into the locker room, I like to think all the batters blamed it on the pitching. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. I mean, I, granted, they didn't have to walk all those guys on the base. Yeah, yeah. I um, it sucks, man. It ends up being a, a really rough deal. He gets one out in, in the uh, that inning that he was pulled. He had 118 pitches by the time they pulled him and put the other guy in, but he had walked two batters. So with no hits, the other pitcher comes in, walks another guy. So he's got bases loaded, one out. They hit a beautiful four six three double play ball, and. It's not as timely. They end up beating it out at first, and so only two outs, one run scores, no hits, and that uh, is your ball game. One nothing. Fuck. How do you not go to home in that situation? I don't. Well, it, it was it was hit hard. You got to have a lot of confidence in your double playability eh. and know who's at the plate. Or or you have a nine and twenty six record. Right, and you really don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> that could be. That could be. Uh, hey, anything can happen. It's a 162 game yeah. season. That's a marathon, <laughs> folks. I think these Reds are coming back. Yeah, they're just getting warmed up. <laughs> they got a couple of good prospects in AAA that are probably going to get called up. Yeah, but anyways, uh, last is that by the way? Do you get sick and tired? Like I, I see it with the Royals games. They're they're awful this year they're not yeah. reds awful but they're they got a lot of fucking problems <laughs> yeah and to hear these fucking announcers just sugarcoat everything and try and like paint a, oh some guy got hit in yeah. the fucking nuts for the he astros is down <laughs> somebody from the astros is down he is in pain he uh, needs, it looks like he got hit he, he got needs hit some ball nuts. toner I believe that's the <laughs> ball toner, huh? I believe that's the pitcher. He yeah, it is. Came the right back oh. at him. Oh, I didn't know I hit him. He is this not. is in real time, everybody. You're real gonna already time. know about this by the time you listen to it if you care at all about baseball. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna see the replay here real quick. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Second. Oh. Oh. oh, what did he oh. do? Oh, he pulled the groin. Yep, groin. Yeah, that's a, that's a groin hamstring pull. or a groin, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a groin. He'd be reaching Ooh. for the back of his leg if it right. was. Oh, oh he's he's nice. in bad oh, well. shape. Well, this is excellent listening material by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you can edit that out nah, if you want yeah, to. It doesn't matter. We um, doesn't matter. But no, hearing hearing the fucking Royals announcers just glaze over that shit and blow smoke up your ass like, yeah, things are going great. We're really going to turn this around. You know, we got these hot young prospects. Things are going great. We love these guys. They suck. <laughs> they fucking suck and and there's nothing wrong if if Harry Carey had one good quality about him, it's the fact that he would sit there and and be like, "These guys suck." <laughs> there's no way we're gonna win a pennant this year. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. Uh, but other than that, uh, last but not least, uh, to all you hockey fans out there, go Avs. <laughs> oh, the Avalanche are still in it, right? Damn right. Yeah, I guess they're they're Wonder like the series they're like the favorite. Oh, I think they're the favorite. No, they should be if they're not. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm wearing a hockey jersey just for you. I don't watch the playoffs. I know the Toronto Maple Leafs lost. I do know that. Well, you like golf, so I do love golf, right? But uh, but I think they the, use sticks to hit things with right. too. Like uh, if I remember correctly, the only uh, Canadian team that's left is the Calgary Flames. If I remember correct, so that's like the only chance they have to win a I Stanley Cup. Didn't the Calgary Flames become the Avalanche? No, no, no. no. What team became the Avalanche? The oh. Colorado Avalanche. It was an expansion. Team. No, they weren't. They. No, they were a team. Were they really? Mm-hmm. It was the Vancouver. Um, uh, Canucks? No, the Canucks? Canucks, Canucks are still there. No, it was the uh, Winnipeg Jets, right? Ah, uh, that sounds back. Actually, I thought right. they were still around too. Are they? Uh, uh, no, they are still around. I'm not that big of a hockey. God, fan, guys, we don't fucking like. No, hockey. It was what a Canadian doing? team, though. It was a Canadian team. This is sure. gonna fucking bug me all night. Yeah, I know. It's you probably. You know it what? I think it's it was the Canadians, if I remember right. Oh, the Montreal. Montreal Canadians. Are they not around anymore? What a fucking awful, unoriginal name. That's as bad as the Dallas Texans. Or the Houston Texans. Now the Chiefs used to be the Dallas Texans. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, let's I don't know. Boston used to be the Americans, right? Uh, let's see where let's 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 look this up. Yeah, you look it up. I'm I'm looking it up. This original. is going to get cut out anyway. No, it's not. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with uh, with what it is. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I should know since I'm a fan. Ooh, Are you on dial-up? Ooh. Oh man, it, the Quebec Nordics. Oh, the Nordiques. Yeah, Nordiques. Is that Nordi- right? Quebec Nordiques. 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 Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> yeah. There, <laughs> I'm surprised that they didn't it, win every year. <laughs> it really, it really Whoa. limited on them on their personnel and who it right. had to be. But if the Zamboni ever broke down, right, they could get that fixed up that's in right. a jiffy. Jesus, that's so funny. <laughs> Try great it now. mechanics on that team. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, that's the sports for this uh, this episode. Now we get to move on to the fun shit where we get to have all kinds of fun. Right. right. Yeah. Yay. All right, well, first thing we're going to get to is real shit or horse shit. Self-explanatory. If you don't know what we're talking about, fuck yourself. Uh, but, yeah, we had to take a couple of items, whether or not we think it's real shit or it is horse shit. We're going to start off with this one. When I'm, at, oh, I'm sorry, real shit or horse shit, when I'm at the grocery store and someone is in front of the item I want, I will pretend I am looking at an item next to them until they move. Real shit. Do you really do that? I do it. Oh, my God. I absolutely do it. Oh. I absolutely do it. And sometimes I even buy the shit that I wasn't trying to buy <laughs> because while I'm looking at it, I'm like, hey, you know, this could be all right. So, I mean, yeah, I absolutely do it because, look, man, at the end of the day, or what do you what do? You do you just reach in there anyway, or do you say, excuse me, or do you just move, bitch? No. I mean, <laughs> what, is, what do you do? This is horse shit. Of course I go, I go, excuse me, let me grab this here real quick. And they move and right. the, and move on with your life. I don't just sit there and waste time. If you are wasting my time, my time is valuable, JP. So I'm going to go in and, and politely ask, hey, can I get around you real quick so I can get this? You're taking I, my that's fucking horse time. Shit. That's horse shit. That, your time, that, is, your valuable, time right. is valuable. I call it's horse shit on that. Extremely valuable. Yeah. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, this used to be real shit. Now it's horse shit. Now I stand there and stare at the people. <laughs> Just <laughs> directly into their eyes. <laughs> My wife has stopped taking me to the grocery store with her. She used to insist that I go. Now she doesn't because my, uh, my throat gets sore from... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, sorry. Was that in your way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going for tuna. <laughs> well done. All right. Next one, real shit or horse shit. Sometimes while driving, I will start <laughs> thinking of something, then arrive at my destination and not remember driving there. Real shit. Because I smoke a lot, <laughs> a lot of marijuana. Sometimes when I'm driving. And yeah. I don't ever usually remember my drive. I get there. Yeah. But there's a lot of times that's happened to me, man. Right. Uh First of all, if I mean I've I've definitely done this. I mean I, I don't smoke any weed, but I I have maybe accidentally driven drunk <laughs> a couple times, blasted, yeah. blacked out, yeah, but maybe I got, once. I got home safe. I mean, yeah. I, thank I, God. I don't remember, uh, but no. In all seriousness, as a sober driver, I I do this all yeah. the fucking time. I I mean I think about shit while I'm driving, and I will all of a sudden wake. I'll just come to in my driveway going, oh, shit. Don't remember driving. Glad I got here. Especially fun. when you're taking routes that you take every day. Like yeah, to exactly. And, to and from work. This, it's an like, autopilot For thing. sure. Yeah. For so sure. this is real shit for me, too. Jeremy? Um, okay. Until I got my insomnia under control, this was a very, very real thing for me. Uh, I, I used to just completely space out to a, a scary amount. Uh, I used to have an hour drive to get to work every day. <laughs> And there were so many mornings where I, oh, I could God, not I remember a damn second of it. And you also hallucinate, too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Those God. are the interesting mornings. There was one morning when I swear to God I got passed by a jogger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I mean, I, I would have sworn to God was that it, that happened. Was it Dave Rickles? It was not. It was oh, not. Damn. I mean, it might have been, but have been. I, I didn't know him at the time. Okay. He would have still been in school. Oh, Okay. So, yeah, but yeah, it was, that was a regular thing for me now. Fuck, my drive is very short to work. And so I really don't even notice the drive. Okay. I drive with my feet just yeah. to keep myself focused. You got that Flintstone car still? N- no, I mean on the wheel, Scotty. Oh, I got you. 
All Lean right. the seat all the way back. Like I'm giving birth, put it, put my feet up on there like it's stirrups. Yep, JP's in the I don't know. seat. Uh, <laughs> wow, I was going to say, I don't know, should this be uh, turning me on? Sometimes I straddle the gear shift, okay. you know, whatever. Okay. Uh, put it in reverse, Daddy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Overdrive. Oh, dear Lord. Okay, next one. Real shit or horse shit? I will still not try to step on cracks. Horse shit. Really? You really still do that? You want to? You don't want to break your back, bro? It's, it's, it's your, your mom's, mom's back. Oh, I've heard both ways: mom's yeah. back or your back. Either way, um, I, have you stepped on a crack before? Oh yeah. How's your back? It's just fine. Well, then you probably don't need to worry about it anymore. Mom's back is fucked up. Though. <laughs> mom's back is <laughs> fucked up. <Yeah. laughs> She hasn't been able to walk in years. Nope. You know, come to think of it, ever since I stepped on that crack. <laughs> that's right. That's what it happened. Uh, no, I think that's just weird. Th- I'm, I mean, okay, not all the time, but there are definitely some times where I noticed where I'm like not on my phone and I'm looking at the ground and I will purposefully avoid cracks. Yeah. This is real you shit. <laughs> if you I'm, if I'm looking at the ground, yeah. Wow. It's fucking it's, weird. It that is, is it's, weird. It's, it's not a superstition thing, more of an OCD thing. Mm-hmm. Like I'm trying to time out my stride so that it hits in the middle of each yep. section of sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here's wow. another. Here's okay. This is just off, off right. the same And those question. sections, by the way, are eight feet long. Yes. So that's really hard. Because yes. I got to take really long strides. Really long. That's how you know your buddy's doing it too, is because you see them striding so fucking far. Like, why are you? Oh, he's trying not to he's step on the crack. On no, the I, crack. I take it all in one stride. Oh, Eight, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, the God. whole thing. The whole thing. I really got to stretch. <laughs> I even try to wear, make it to where my toe just barely, barely steps on it. the crack yeah. to where you kind of push off oh, as a launch boy. point. Oh yeah. Okay, last one hmm. uh, before the end of this episode, we get canceled. Uh, last one, real shit or horse shit while driving. If a vehicle in front of me does something stupid, I will try to get next to them so I can look and see how stupid they look. Yeah. Oh, yes. Real shit. Oh, real. fuck it. Real shit. Every time. <laughs> Every fucking time. And you're pissed Every if they time. turn off before oh, you get to see I'll them. I'll turn off with them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care where the fuck I'm going. I'll go. I will follow them <laughs> just to get a look and just to give them the look. Yes. And maybe the finger. Yeah. Uh, just to be like, look, you dumb bitch. Because, look, it's always, it's a, always woman. a woman. It is. It and is. White and Asians. Yeah. Or an Asian. That's true. That's true. Oh, this is so real shit. Uh, oh, God. I will. So sp- real. I will speed up. I will go way over the speed limit just so I can get to that point to oh, where right. I can look. And I'm already imagining what this bitch looks like in my head before. And I'm so thrown off guard when they're not wearing a fucking helmet. It's just, it, <laughs> it, it's something so crazy to me that yeah. that person is driving the vehicle and they're not just retarded. So, yeah. yeah. It's real shit. Now I enjoy it. If okay, is this is said stupid thing impeding me? Because that really changes how yes. I look. Oh, at if it's impeding me, then you're, I impede back. Yes, I, I tend to lay on the horn a lot. I, oh, I will definitely honk. I will fly back in front of you and slow way <laughs> the fuck down I'm, while somebody else is going slow in the other lane, so you can't get around, mm-hmm. and then flip you off out the window the whole time while I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, I, I tend not to look. Yeah. I look when I see them do something stupid, like veer off toward the side. Then just all of a sudden, you see their vehicle just jerk, <laughs> jerk back the into the fucking. Because then, yeah, look at your stupid fucking face. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, if if that doesn't really hurt me at all, so yeah. I don't really have a problem with that person. But they are fucking stupid, <laughs> so yeah, I want to see them. Uh-huh. It's, awesome. it's like a fucking zoo. It at is. That point. Yeah. It is. You just want to see what they look like because mm-hmm. in your head you're imagining they're fucking stupid. But anyways, that is real shit or horse shit for this week. If you guys have any suggestions for this, by the way, you can send them now again on our TikTok channel. Our Q&A is opened up. So if you have any questions, preguntas, bad advice, real shit or horse shit, go to the Q&A. It's now back up and running because I bitched enough. Can I make one request on that, though? Sure. Please don't. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. Please don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, especially for the bad advice, I kind of, I think just yes, to help Yes, we Jim, do need that. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, we're still getting plenty. Yeah, we are. But... Uh, a lot of them are fucking stupid. <laughs> Speaking of which, like I can't, 
I can make funny out of just about anything, and people are writing in with shit that I can't make funny out of. Uh, well, I don't know about that. Well, you, you do a pretty good job. Because that's well, the you next... Ha- I, uh, not for the ones I haven't you done. You trying to lead into it, I and do. he keeps just... He's just, just shutting it down. Shutting it down and going right over I don't yet. know why you need to lead into it. You announced it before the fucking show. That's, that's true. true. So I people know it's coming. Thing. Yeah, they, they do. They know it's coming. They know it's coming. And they've tuned out. That's true. <laughs> and I don't care for smooth transitions either. Okay. Okay, then go for it then. Can I segue now? No, you don't have to, apparently. Uh, yes. Get on your fucking weird <laughs> scooter and just scoot away, dude. Great. All right. Well, now we get to move on to the growing in popularity part of every single episode. This is Bad Advice with Jeremy. Again, if you have any situation that you are in that you want to get the absolute worst fucking advice possible send them to us at laughing on the sidelines on our instagram so jeremy can read through them and think of something uh this week we've got one from dylan penrod i think i'm pronouncing that correctly Uh, but yeah uh, dylan penrod he has uh he needs some advice he writes jeremy i have recently started at an aircraft facility given your job working with airplanes i thought you would have some (laughs) Perfect bad advice. I'm having trouble gaining respect from the people who have been there for 15 plus years. Do you have any advice to gain respect from those people? Nope. Uh, <laughs> nope. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, first and foremost, uh, shit in the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. You Obviously. do that and you get away with it. Dude, I don't know who did it, but uh, I, I can't comment on ongoing investigation. <laughs> but um, yeah, whoever did that certainly has my respect. Uh, but once you get past that, um, most aircraft uh, manufacturing facilities are union shops. So uh, work through break. They love that. They love to be shown up. They love to, they cherish their fucking breaks. And what they want to hear the most is you fucking working with loud power tools and shit that's people love that um keep tabs on all your co-workers when they go to the bathroom and how long they've been there and then tattle on them if you feel like they've been gone too long that'll really whip them into shape um ask a lot of your co-workers for favors on the weekend like to help you clean your garage or move furniture that's really how they want to spend their fu- they can't stand you as it is during the week they really want to spend their fucking weekend with you um Aircraft work a lot of times requires people to work in very close quarters, so stop showering. Uh, (laughs) That's that's really... uh, I've seen actual examples of like people putting (laughs) bars of soap in people's toolboxes and shit. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Dude, there was... I how work, Jeremy gets all his soap. That's right. Yeah. I, I work with one guy, and I'm not sure exactly how this happens, but dude smells like an old kitty litter box, like that <laughs> strong ammonia mm-hmm. smell. And I have, unless he's cooking crystal meth at his house, I don't know <laughs> what the fuck he's doing. Uh, Is his name Jim? I wish. Oh, okay. um, uh, but I do know Jim. Okay. Um, it's not Jim. I love when people ask me that, too. There's 12,000 people who work where I work. Hey, do you know Jim? <laughs> I know 50 fucking gems, dude. <laughs> uh, speaking of, uh, cook crystal meth. That's a good one. And um, <laughs> borrow people's tools without permission and lose them. That's uh, that's something that people really, really love. Because for some reason, aircraft does require you to bring your own personal tools a lot of times. So, yeah, just get in people's toolboxes without asking and then forget where you put shit. And uh, really, basically, that's all you got to do. And you're going to have the respect of your coworkers in no time. <laughs> That's my advice. <laughs> Great advice. Great advice. I'm going to add, I, I work in an automotive, in, in the automotive service Boring. industry. Boring! You don't fucking lose somebody's tools. <clears throat> that's, oh, that's bad. That's bad time for you. I lose my own tools a lot. Not at work so Ooh. much, but like in my own garage. That goddamn 10 millimeter it, socket, motherfucker. It takes four, uh, dude, I don't fucking go in metric. Come on. <laughs> I'm a fucking American. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's so much easier to figure things in sixteenths and thirty seconds <laughs> rather than multiples of ten. Uh, Except for Wichita Force football tickets. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, that's why they don't get so many fans. They use the metric system. <laughs> that's right, idiots. You fucking dumbass. You morons. You go, oh, you go half quarters, eight sixteenths, thirty seconds, and sixty fourths. Yeah, everybody knows uh, that. Eighths, quarters, halves. I yeah. mean, that's the, that's the way yes, I deal. Yes, it is. Um, 
But yeah, I I've got a I half in my backpack right now. Good deal. <laughs> Every fucking project that I've ever done, home improvement project, building shit out in my garage, whatever, it takes me twice as long as it should because I spend so much time. Where in the fuck did I put my drill? God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> I spend more time looking for shit than actually working on shit. Uh-huh. That's, that's what I'm getting at. That's true. I'm, what I'm saying here, Scotty, <laughs> <laughs> is that the downtime that I take, the wasted time looking for tools outweighs the actual production time. Right. Got do, it. Do I need to break that down further? No, we, we're good. No, I think we got it. But thank you for that. Uh, we do sincerely do appreciate you guys writing in your uh, your you know situations that you want bad advice from Jeremy. Thank you very much for D- uh, Dylan writing in his situation. Hope that helps. Are you thanking me for Dylan writing in? No, I'm thanking Dylan for writing oh, in and you. thanking you for doing such a good job of getting Excellent him some job. shitty shitty. It's advice. about time I got some fucking gratitude around here. Yeah. Every week I come in, you give me the fucking cold shoulder. Do I don't care for it, Scotty. Do I really? Yeah, I, I think yeah, that's what you do. I think you're great, Jeremy. Dude, you beg for affection. Dude, let me just say this, man. <laughs> you, I don't you look, lavish hey. those who hate you with love <laughs> for no goddamn reason. I don't like to defend Scotty. I hate him as much as you do. But I'm going to tell you right now, I've been begging him to kick you the fuck off the show so I could be a regular member, and he won't do it. I won't do so, it. So, I mean, All there's right. that. Yeah. I mean, you take that for what you want. Yeah. But. I'll take next week off. <laughs> 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 well, Derek is uh, is is uh, by the way is going to probably be off a couple of weeks. He's got baseball games and and some other stuff, so we will miss him very much. I just want to put Dearly. that in there. Dearly miss him. Uh, but anyways, now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. This is uh, same thing. If you got any suggestions, you can go and put them on our TikTok at Laughing on the Sidelines or Instagram <laughs> at Laughing on the Sidelines. It's fucking <laughs> the first one, man. What? That. Oh no! We're these the are very good. first one though. Oh, that's where you're gonna hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should I, I mean, skip? Should I say no? This? We'll go with it. <laughs> okay. Let's just go with it. All right. First one. Overrated or underrated? <laughs> <laughs> the Make a Wish Foundation. <laughs> Sorry. Hold on. I can't say this without. I got. I got to say this is a straight face. Overrated or underrated? The Make a Wish Foundation. Underrated. <laughs> Really? Because anybody who says overrated is a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a heartless asshole. Uh, like, of course it's overrated. Well, you think it's you think it's <laughs> un, it's underrated. You think it's overrated? Yeah, it's fucking overrated. Why do you say that? Because <laughs> cancer kids don't deserve anything. No, because I deserve shit too. Why do we gotta keep? Why do we keep giving all the fun stuff to the cancer people? Get yourself and, some cancer. Yeah, I've been, get, I've been campaigning on. for that for I, years now. I want to go to Disney World. I've never been. Just why tell. Is, hey, hey, man, just fuck me, and then you'll have AIDS, and you won't have to worry about it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> No, this is then underrated. Then you can go, yeah, okay. This is, this is underrated. In all seriousness, yeah. Make-A-Wish Foundation. Of course, they do great things. Especially with the kids and stuff like that. I, I, the kids. I, the kids. The kids with, I mean, that's the worst thing. Kids with cancer just fucking kills me. And so I think it's awesome. Kids with any disease. Yeah. Venereal. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. That's bad. That's bad. Uh, but yes, it's underrated. Jeremy? Uh, I'm going overrated. I mean, <laughs> of course you are. You've Make- already offended all the black people. <laughs> Ma- you might as well offend the cancer kids too. <laughs> S- I mean, people let's on, go all in. Sending people this on trips. This episode will never air. <laughs> yeah, no shit. It may not at this point. Sending people on trips and making their dreams come true is a great way to make memories to share with people. Who the fuck are they going to share it with? They're going to die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Tell them on their deathbed that they did it and they were so drugged out that they don't remember it. Give me a fucking trip. Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. All right. Next or one. spend that money on curing fucking cancer. How about that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, let's buy airplane tickets. <laughs> All I need is one more treatment of chemo. Nah, we're going to take you to Six Flags. <laughs> That's so funny. You ever been to Thunder Mountain? <laughs> oh, God. You ever um. thrown out the first pitch at a minor league baseball game? <laughs> we got some inside ways of helping that happen. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> we're going to move right on with this one. Next it, one. It just gets better. <laughs> I should have read through these maybe. I know, right? Holy uh, next one. This is from a fan. This is from at Braxton Lint. He wants to know, overrated or underrated, handicapped athletes. JP? 
Oh, why do I have to go first? <laughs> I went first on the last one. I know, but you're always going uh, first. Look, this one I'm going to go with overrated. Really? Yep. Why? Hang, hang on here, JP. Before you do this, okay. stop to think. You're a bowler. Technically a handicapped <laughs> athlete. That's exactly Bowlers right. have handicaps. They do. Look, man. And golfers. And golfers. I think we're talking about two different handicaps. <laughs> uh, you interpret it. You, However dude, this you show want. is well, wide open, man. Okay. Leave it open to your imagination. Well, yeah. I still say overrated. Okay. Because, look, man, they're probably getting some kind of government check and shit, whatever, I for being know. handicapped. Yeah, uh-huh. for sure they are. So why don't you just sit there, drool on yourself, and collect your fucking check? Nobody wants to watch you play basketball. Nobody wants to watch you play ice hockey. Uh, well, we, we we got a we, we got a listener. We got plays, a listener who plays, plays sled, sled hockey. hockey. <laughs> okay, and well, he's fucking good at okay, it. Okay, well that's that's okay. an exception. As I've said, that's like being the world's sexiest burn victim. Right. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's that's not really, uh, and we like that kid. Yeah, we do. Uh, he he may not be a kid anymore at this point. Um, yeah, yeah, is that yeah. the kid I mean, we were talking about last time I was here? Yeah, Lucas probably. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. That is Lucas Duda, right? Yeah. No. Something. Hmm. No, that's not. He didn't play first base for the Mets and then the Royals? No. Huh. No. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Boy, my mistake, huh? Yeah. All right, so. So you're going to say overrated? Yeah. I'm going to go with overrated as well. Um, I have said multiple times whenever they let the handicapped kid try to, like, make a layup or, or run for a touchdown, I think that dude needs to get taken the fuck out. Um, but in all seriousness, let's look in history. History tells us something about handicapped athletes. One very famous handicapped athlete was a guy with no legs. And his name was Oscar Pistorius. Mm. And he killed a bitch. He did right. great things. Yeah, he so, did good things. I wonder what she said to deserve that. <laughs> exactly. Right. So overrated. Well, not to mention, it also opens up. Next thing you know, we're going to be letting guys play girls sports. This is and, true. You know, there will be yeah. transgendered wrestling. And, yeah, those are your people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're part of that community. <laughs> I love you. Be, we're I, all I, part of that community. I, I, I love how we're, true. we're a very inclusive people. We are. I, I'm sure that you love being lumped in with people <laughs> who have nothing to do with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, where are we at? Handicapped athletes. Yep. yep. Yeah, they're they're overrated. When was the last time a kid in a wheelchair shattered a backboard? <laughs> And not the kind that you lay on when you got injured. Yeah. When to put you not in that, that wheelchair in the first fucking place. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, Jeremy. They're building ramps for for a, ha- a handicap. Well, basketball. that's fucking so cheating. So that they can dunk. <laughs> so they can dunk. That's wow. fucking cheating. Now that I'd watch. Say so what I. <laughs> that I would watch. That's not real. I just made that up. Well, God bless. Should them. be real. They should though. That would be great. Okay. All right. Now we get to get on to some 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 better ones. Uh, overrated or underrated? This is also from another fan. This is from at golfer two four zero eight. I wonder what his handicap is. Overrated or underrated? Yeah. Thank, okay. thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. No problem. Uh, next one. He he wants to know overrated or underrated Chinese buffets. It could be either. What? Uh, if it's really good, it's underrated, and if it's a shitty Chinese buffet, it's overrated. Even though even all the shit food you can eat mm-hmm. is not good. Oh, when you man. can go eat good food. I know the ongoing joke about Chinese restaurants is that their chicken is actually like cat and dog and stuff like that. No. I, I, I have yet. No, it's goat. It, oh, is it goat? It's absolutely goat. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. the the cat and the uh, that's dog stuff. Old news. That's that's more they Korean. It's goat. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a Korean buffet. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. North or south? Huh? <laughs> Are we going back to the Civil War reenactment? Mid. Shit? Mid Koreans. Mid Koreans. Are we okay. going back to JP fucking Civil War reenactment? <laughs> yeah. Stick it in my powder horn. <laughs> <laughs> Which I have done and will do again. Sure. Oh, Why God. wouldn't you? Gives that good burn. Yeah. Mm. I don't care. I I have yet to have a Chinese bad Chinese buffet. I mean, oh, like, even, come the, on. even the bad one. You remember the one that used to be over there by Town East? Uh, uh, it was in the old Willie C's. Ooh, no. I, I ate there multiple times. Oh, well. Yeah. Maybe you just don't have very good taste. No, because you're going to mm. find something. If the buffet is large enough, you're going to find yeah, something you're going to eat. I guess. Yeah, you're probably right. I mean, I mean yeah. yeah okay, so sure. Underrated. Okay. Jeremy? For me, Chinese buffets, or as they call them in my house, buffets. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they are, uh, I agree with JP. I mean, they, they can be very good. They can be very bad. Uh, it seems like it's all just chicken nuggets with different sauce on it. It is. Um, 
Which, why is it that sweet and sour chicken is the only one that you have to apply the sauce yourself? It just comes in those greasy fucking nuggets. Um, That's a good fucking point. Yeah, I know it is, Scotty. I made it. <laughs> okay. Um, but no, I, uh, the, okay, near where I lived, uh, the little town of Pratt, they mm-hmm. had a Chinese buffet where nobody ever ordered off the menu, but anybody who did, they would just go scoop it off the buffet. <laughs> off and put it in the box. <laughs> put it in the box. Right. And, um, but no, uh, fair enough. I don't mind a Chinese buffet from time to time. Mm-hmm. They use a lot of vegetables, though. I don't care. For no, I don't care for the vegetables either. All right. Next and one. Are, for some reason, there's always just chicken wings and fries just in some random spot. Yeah. You Chinese know what I buffet. love? Those little fried corn nuggets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If, I, if I the buffet uh, doesn't have those little corn nuggets, they can go fuck themselves. And it's that's like, bad, but that's overrated. Here, here's another. Okay. They, I know we're going off tangent, but guys. Niblets, I believe those are tall, got, right? We got plenty yeah. of fucking Niblets. time. You know it's a good Chinese buffet if they have crab legs. Yeah. I mean that's that's real shit. Not always. See, here's the thing about seafood: I won't eat it off a buffet. Ooh, I won't do it because except you know that the buffets around here with the crab is fresh. Yeah, the, they, yeah, they <laughs> come. They just right caught from it. The sea. Right, that's what I'm saying. I just won't do it. I've heard too many too many stories, and I've seen too many people get really bad food poisoning from 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 under, uh, seafood. Yeah, oh, I actually prefer on buffets crab with a K. We've got. I like to think of it as fancier crab. Yeah, <laughs> crab with a K. That's some shit. I think that's from lemon fish, if I remember, or ling fish is what it's they're called. It's just some kind of white fish yeah. that they've so, put together. But I can't really tell the difference, especially. Yeah. I only get it at like who hot. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's mixed in with your pasta and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not pasta. It's or whatever. Mm, yeah, yeah, whatever. But, yeah. Um, but another another short story. I, I have actually started looking into a, uh, a vacation for next year. Um, I'm thinking about going tuna fishing. Okay. In fucking Maine. Catch yeah, one of them. At the fish. grocery store? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just go to the grocery yeah. store. Stand next to somebody who's already looking at the cans. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Wait for him to bite. Yeah, throw, exactly. Throw a fucking cork and bobber out there. <laughs> no, those bluefin tunas can get like fucking huge, mm-hmm. yeah, bro. They're big. And my uh, uncle yeah. caught a 400 pound albacore tuna. Oh, yeah. One time when he Damn. went deep sea fishing. Fuck. What Damn. do you do with it? Eat it. I would mean, sell well, it. Yes, but how do Make you get it Make a lot of tuna salad. How do you, you can. I would just nail it to a board and hang it on the wall. Yeah, okay. Sure. That you would work. do that too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Put a motor in it. Make it sing when the radio comes on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't yeah. worry. Be happy. Sure. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's a lot of weight to have to move mm-hmm. around. That motor better be big. All right. Next one. Uh, this is another fan question. This is from at... I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing this wrong, but Ivar the Boneless 420. I think 420. I think that means marijuana. Nah, I, no, that's that's well. Like, we can't talk about it on this podcast. That's, that's, they don't that's, talk about that on the internet. That's Ivar's. Like, that's Ivar's birthday. I like Ivar. I know, right? You know who else's birthday that was, right? Who's Adolf Hitler? <laughs> April 20th, really? Yep. You fucking Nazi. That's call me what, whatever you want. <laughs> anyway, I've seen your boots, right? Uh, Ivar wants to know, overrated or underrated, giving the middle finger. Okay. Uh, look. You, you tread softly, sir. Okay. Um, giving the middle finger. <sighs> giving the middle finger. I would say underrated because it's the longest finger. Okay. So when I'm giving it, yeah, it's better. Yeah. Some guys want me to give them the whole thing. <laughs> oh, God. Which I think is overrated. Had to go there, did you? But uh, yeah. I think this the middle finger we're talking about, I would say. Yeah. Uh, underrated. Okay, fine. Uh, it's way, way underrated. The middle finger means so many things. Uh, one, it's fuck you. And the other one was, hey, what's up, you piece of shit. You know, it's like, it's it's yeah. that's how you know. It's saying hi. For a lot of us, like uh, how Australians call each other cunts, like that are best friends. That's that's our way of saying hi to a best friend is fuck you, and we always get it back. It's it, it's so underrated, Jeremy? Jeremy. Yeah, there there are two different types of fingers. The just holding it, the the you mean it more. <laughs> and the we've, more we've covered both of them. <laughs> we've covered so both. the more you stick it out, the or more you in, mean it. Or in and or you can really drive it home and put the other. Oh yeah, arm across five I fingers. In. I I haven't yeah. seen that Four move fingers. pulled in a while. I that guess. was probably the early '90s. Last time I yeah. saw somebody pull that, I haven't that. seen anybody do that for a while. Seems either. like the world I think is a we less angry bring that place. Back. 
I think we should too. Okay. We could do it. I, I, want, I think let's we'll, start a TikTok trend. Are, yeah. yeah. I want somebody to do it with their toes. Middle finger with their toes. Ooh. I'd be tough. That's not a finger, Scotty. I know. Middle it's a digit. Okay, for middle, sure. Middle middle toe. Middle tarsal. Hmm. You know? I think you should be able to do that. Well, go for it. Yeah, somebody send us a video. See how well you. that catches on. Okay. Right. We'll give it a shot. Do. Last one, ladies and gentlemen. Overrated or underrated? 72 virgins. JP. I mean, <laughs> underrated. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. Really? I mean, underrated. Oh, my goodness. You don't like skyscrapers. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> World Trade Center. Poor thing. Um, <clears throat> uh, no, this is overrated. I'm, I'm so sorry that the, their religion... I, I understand this is what they, they think actually happens. They get 72 virgins. How do you, you know, know it doesn't? It's, it's not in... The Quran you know anywhere. It it's not. I no. Just, okay, I just have heard this. And it, plus, how do you know it doesn't? That's what they tell know. people that they're going to get, but it is not in in the laws of Muslim religion anywhere. Okay. Hypothetically, Which is funnier. let's say that it does. I don't know if you guys well, remember the very first time. If you have 72 chicks that are highly emotional, highly, uh, highly mm-hmm. crazy. Oh, we're talking about chicks. Yes. Or dudes. Oh, I thought we were talking about the first gay bar I ever it, went it to was called 72 Virgins. Oh, was it that's really? That's what I thought we were talking about. Oh, no. No, that's not what we're talking oh. about. Uh, but no, seriously. Their house music sucks. Yeah. 72 Virgins? No, thank you. I want yeah. the hot mom. That's what I want. 72 I, Virgins is a yeah. lot of blood. I want I want 72 yeah. hot moms that are well experienced. I'll I take want, that. I want the crazy 50-something. Yeah. Woman. She's yeah. nuts and she doesn't give, give me a fuck anymore. Of those. She yeah. can't get pregnant anymore. Yeah. She doesn't give a fuck if she gets diseases. <clears throat> yeah, give me the coup. Yeah, I'm going to give them all to her. Um, yeah, it, it, to quote the, the great Dana Gould, he once said, I don't remember sex with a virgin being the best sex I ever had. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then he said, I've never actually had sex with a virgin, yeah. <laughs> but I do love breaking the seal on a new GIF. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to be really hard when you do it. <laughs> oh God. Okay. All right. That's uh, overrated or underrated. Now I get to move on to questions or preguntas. Preguntas is Spanish for questions. So yeah. yeah uh, By the way, you. most people who would want the seventy-two virgins. Uh huh. I. Uh, yeah. Up, up. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just okay. saying. Not up. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, same thing, guys. Our Q&A section is wide open. So if you have any suggestions for questions or preguntas, you can send them there. I'm starting to look at those more often. They've done a better job of being able to organize them as well. So you can send them there or at Insta- or on our Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines as well. All right. First question of the week is going to be, if a burglar broke into your house, what wouldn't you mind them taking? My virginity. <laughs> Do you remember where you? I've put actually it? set it up that way before. <laughs> oh, really? You know, hey, the door's unlocked. I'm blindfolded, tied to the bed. That whole the first Shoot. several times you lost your virginity. <laughs> right. The first, the first several times that it happened. That's exactly how it happened. All right. Uh, I actually have a real one for this. Um, so many years ago, many. I mean, two years ago, uh, Derek bought me something. That I have been wanting to get rid of. Tell me it was an engagement ring. Nope. That I've been trying to get rid of, but I'm not allowed to. So it'll be really easy to get rid of it if somebody would break into my house and get into the studio and get and take my very nice Jewish guy calendar. (laughs) I want this thing to go away, but I'm not allowed to throw it away. You should have put it in my garage sale, dude. Somebody would have bought (laughs) it. Somebody would have bought that. Just put it behind a sheet. Put it behind a sheet. (laughs) And they... I no, can't put that out, it. and then they'd be like, where are the other Jewish guy calendars? Are they behind the sheet? Yeah. And the other thing is, this is a calendar for 2020. JP, I haven't been able to use this thing. It has uh, no use. Right. You didn't use it when you had it, and it was good. You're right. right. I hid it because I didn't want it. You don't know it? You don't like knowing what day it what is? What kind of pictures do they have? I'll there? go through it, JP. I mean, you know. Oh, well, hey, well this guy's shirtless. <laughs> Okay. Maybe I don't want you to go through it. I don't want you to get in the boat. No, let's, but. Yeah, let's not. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to break into my house, steal this fucking calendar. That'd be great. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, a few Christmas trees would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A few. A few. Yeah. A truckload. Some <laughs> guy walking out. I come $12 out with, all you can carry. I come out with my pistol. Some guy's walking off with Christmas trees. I'm like, just go. Just go. <laughs> 
I'll cover the hallway for you. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll help you carry some shit. Right. <laughs> All right. Next one. Soup flavors rejected by the FDA. Spin and squirt stew. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. Um, aborted fetuses. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, that's, that's right time. So stewed? I'm going to go with that. Are they stewed? Yeah. Well, I mean, everything's stewed. Yeah. Everything's stewed at this point. Uh, cream of munting. <laughs> cream of munting. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. You always get the... <laughs> has to be there somewhere. You get the win just because of munting. All right. Next question. What is the biggest red flag that your spouse is cheating on you? Probably when she starts fucking other dudes. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty sure sign. Yeah. That, yeah, she may may have eyes for somebody else. Yeah, I just I just said the holes wider and deeper. Well, that's kind of so for <laughs> me, know. I've got a couple ways. There are two ways you can tell if if your man is cheating on you oh, if you're no. gay. First off, if his dick smells like vagina at any point, <laughs> he is definitely cheating. Yeah. Uh, two, if he's a top oh, and no. all of a sudden you can't hear him fart anymore, <laughs> then he's been cheating on you. <laughs> it's a gape situation. Yeah, okay. It is. All right. New information to all you listeners out there. Congratulations and you're welcome. <laughs> Great. All right. Next question. How to blow a job interview in one sentence. What's your stance on sexual harassment? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that'd probably be bad. Um, is it a policy or more of a guideline? <laughs> right. Oh, God. Um, it's pronounced methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Jeremy? How much C4 would it take to blow this place up? <laughs> Love it. Great. All right. And last question. Things that should not have alarms. Those little fucking scooters <laughs> that people, that overweight people are on in the grocery store. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh the backup alarm on? Yeah, oh, the backup yeah. alarm on those things. Well, fuck it. If you're stupid enough to get run over by that guy, <laughs> then you deserve it. I don't know, man. You might have missed him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have a serious one on this. Porta potties. Yeah, do they, they should not have they alarms. They should not have alarms. Well, they on don't them. have alarms on them. I know, but imagine if they did. But they don't. So, what you said is really stupid. Okay. Yeah, but I think it'd be dumb but to have. It, it really. Well, it would be say, dumb to have them on there, but it says. Okay. Name things, things that, that it just should not. Not things oh, that have. Not them things that, that have them that yeah, shouldn't be on. Yeah. A yeah you're yeah. thinking outside. the I'm box. I'm thinking outside the box. I think you're already. You're like a circle. Maybe I know. Maybe that. I should, like that. Maybe they should. I take it back. I apologize. Maybe maybe they should actually have alarms. It just you, it'll make people not want to go into them. I already so, don't want to go in there. I, you don't. No. no. Who fucking does? I think it's awful. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna say with that, Jeremy. What's the question again? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, I know. Things, things things that should not have alarms. Uh, any exhibit at a modern art museum. <laughs> <laughs> it's <Okay>. all bullshit. <laughs> it's not even fucking art. It's like dirty laundry and shit just laying around. <laughs> you call it art because you didn't want to pick up after yourself, you fuck. <laughs> it's a fucking chair. That's yes. all it is. Uh. That's somebody pissed on and threw a piece of trash. And they just it, taped it to the wall. Yeah, and, they and then the handrests on it go. <laughs> yeah. And then they put a sign that sits next to it. This is my piece of art. Yes. Fuck Do not you. touch. Eight thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Uh. All right, but that is our section for questions and preguntas. Again, if you have any suggestions, you can send them to us at Instagram at Laughing on the Sidelines or now our TikTok at Laughing on the so Sidelines Q and A. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we get to get to a very fun part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Um, who won, Jeremy? Derek. No, he didn't. He uh, he disqualified himself because uh, he's not here for the next episode. 
Oh, okay. he yeah. still won. Wah, wah. Uh, yeah, I know he did win. What was last week's draft, anyways? I don't know something that the fans have absolutely no taste <laughs> on. <laughs> no, I know favorite I, uh, TV dads. That's correct. And here's the thing: I figured it you out. You and your fucking Family Matters bullshit. That's Why true. do people like that dumb fucking show? Because it's fucking Urkel was awesome. funny for half an e- half an episode. Urkel was not even supposed to be the star of that show. By the way. Yeah, he, he was. Nor, nor was he. There were no stars. We were all just losers. Steve Urkel was. America lost. No, no. Do you know he's part owner of that show, and so that's why he doesn't work anymore? Is Jaleel gets, White? Yeah. Really? He gets all the residuals from all the fucking reruns. Reruns and shit, yeah. Oh, well, so he for, does very well for himself. Good for him, you know? Uh, but I figured sure. I, I figured yeah, he I, deserves it. I did figure out, actually, why Derek always wins drafts. You ready for this? People like him. No, <laughs> it's because he has all of his friends still on fucking Facebook. That's no bullshit. That's why he wins. Okay, just yeah. Uh, but anyways, um, that was last week's draft. So this week, uh, since Derek is not here, I got second, so I get the championship picks. Jeremy came in dead last, so he gets the sandwich picks. And because we have a guest, JP will take first pick of our draft this week. And our draft oh. is yeah. Our draft is going to be our top things that give us road rage. Yeah. So, JP, you get the first pick of the things that give us road rage. So it doesn't have to be like the thing that gives me the most road rage. It doesn't. Just, just your favorite. Any order. It doesn't any, matter what yeah, order Yeah, if you I go got in. one that you think is going to go that you want, you better pick it. Fit, oh, pick, pick, mask pick. in the car. Oh, dude. If they're in the car and they're wearing their mask and they're the only <laughs> one in the car and they have every fucking window in the car rolled up and the air conditioner turned <laughs> off so that the air can't get in and they're wearing their mask and they're just fucking sweating and you know they want to roll down their window or turn on their ac <laughs> I, oh, what yeah, the that, fuck that's man. a fucking good one oh. that, that's that a, gives you road rage yeah absolutely I, they're not I doing want, anything to you no they are they are they're they not absolutely they are, are. they're being me, fucking stupid they are making yes, the dumbest angry. shit i've ever seen yes it's more entertaining what if what if they're getting ready to go do surgery you don't know they're not. you don't fucking know <laughs> they're, they're, they're not they they're gotta not. they gotta keep the inside of that car sterile you know what? they're driving a honda accord they're not going anywhere to do surgery maybe they're like doctors without borders you don't know <laughs> no bullshit it's always like a middle-aged white oh, woman too every fucking yeah, time yeah. i actually got so used to wearing mine we had to wear them all the time at work uh-huh. i got so used to it that i would fucking forget oh. <laughs> oh, i wasn't doing crazy. it to make any kind of a statement or anything i just fucking forgot i had it on yeah all right jeremy what's your first pick uh getting tailgated yeah, yeah that's a good one that'll do it and I'm by that I mean fucked in the ass. Yeah, right. I'm sure. I'm sure. Without consent. Oh boy. Mm. I get my fucking two that I didn't think were gonna be there. But my number one thing that pisses me off more than anything in the entire world is whenever you are going to get on the highway. Oh, you dick. And You're you taking mine. Don't speed you up prick. to the fucking speed. Oh, no, you didn't take it. The fucking speed. That's an on-ramp. You're supposed to be getting up yep. to speed of what everybody on the fucking highway is going. Okay? Yeah. So get up to speed, jackass. I like it. I like it. Oh, my God. That's my first pick. My second pick, I got I got two that I, that I really want. But I'm going to go with using your fucking turn signal. If you don't use your turn signal, you're a prick. That's why it's there. So not using the turn yes, signal? Okay. Not using your fucking turn signal. Okay. Ugh. Jeremy. Uh, I'm going to go the opposite. People who won't turn their turn signal off. <laughs> 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 and you always think maybe they're going to get over here, so turn. I don't want to get up too close. Uh, yeah. yeah that's, that's a good one. That's maybe good they're just one. being cautious. Uh-huh. Or as George Carlin said, maybe they're going around the world to the left. <laughs> 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 they're, they're NASCAR in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, JP, you get two in a row. All right. So Which one did you think I was going to take? This one kind of goes for – I have one that, that – goes with both of yours the first one is old people <laughs> look man at some point you just gotta know you can't fucking drive anymore i don't 
have somebody take you, call a fucking Uber. There's so many options nowadays. Yeah. If you're that fucking old that you're doing 30 <laughs> mile an hour on the fucking turnpike, <laughs> get the fuck off. Yeah. Just stop. Yeah. Stop yeah. driving. And they are the ones that leave their turn signals on. Yes. So yeah, they are. They are the ones that leave their turn signals on. So that's one. Okay. And your next one? The second one goes with your on ramp thing. Okay. When I'm getting ready to get on the highway mm -hmm. and I have the yield sign, and inevitably some fucking moron who's doing 65 miles an hour decides to slam on their brakes <laughs> so that I can fucking get on the highway <laughs> when I'm trying to let them go so I can merge onto the fucking highway. Yep. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> I almost hit this guy the other night, and, and for exactly that reason. I was trying to get on the highway. It would have been fine if he would have just kept going, but no. He slams on his brakes, and we're right beside each other. I'm looking at him. I flip him off, and I fucking swerved at him, and he swerved out of the way, or I'd have hit him. I yep. was so mad. Yep. I hear you. That's, That's a good one. Jeremy, please don't take mine. Cyclists. <laughs> Cyclists. Oh, okay. people who ride their especially, fucking bicycles in yes. regular driving lanes. Fuck you. Especially people. when they have those fucking kid totes on them. <laughs> yes. And the fucking kid tent yes. on the back. Yes. Oh. We were actually taught, of course, I grew up out in bumfuck, but we were taught if you were ever like driving, riding your bike on a country road, Ride in the opposite lane because you, oh, yes. so you can the see traffic oncoming coming. Coming traffic, yeah, you always and you're not traffic. impeding the traffic coming behind you. Correct. Oh no, that's what we, that's how I learned too. Uh, that is actually now against the law. Well, if you are walking, <laughs> I do other I, things I'm that just, are against the law, I'm Scotty. Just, I, I, know. I grew up in a town where there was zero police presence, yeah. cool. where there was nothing to do but drink, drive, and shoot shotguns yeah. at the same time. Yep. All at the same time. <laughs> yes, that was a Tuesday. <laughs> that was a Tuesday. Yeah. All right. I'm glad you didn't take this one uh, because this is probably my biggest one, and that is going 10 miles per hour under the fucking speed limit. That pisses me off I, I will tailgate your ass if you do that shit safety first dude fuck you safety if first. you can the speed limit is that's actually the limit that's the top you can go Keep incorrect under, man that is the slowest Stay. you can fucking go Stay the speed safe. limit is the bare minimum no. of what you're supposed to go i don't think that's right that is totally true i think that's what you think nope that's what it is if you can't go <laughs> the fucking speed limit <laughs> suck it next one um do, 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 do. I'm gonna. This is this is an old people thing too, but um, people that drive with two feet to where the brake lights are continuously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people who won't maintain a constant speed. Yep, that's worse than the person who just yeah. goes Ten slow. Under. I agree. At least mm -hmm. you can you count get around on them. That yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, but that's actually not mine. That's not mine. That's a good one though. But, yeah, the people that ride the brakes. You have no of, idea how many feet they're driving with. Maybe they're driving with three. That's how you know. That's how actually. What if it's a stick shift? I drive with my dick. Okay. Well, did you get all the way down you, there? No you wonder why you've been in so, so many accidents. You can't yeah. work your foot back and forth between <laughs> the gas and brake? No. 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 Uh, but, yeah, brake light. Good one. Jeremy? What? Next one. <laughs> your next pick. Oh. Um, unnecessarily long construction zones. <laughs> okay <laughs> more than a half mile fuck you <laughs> i paid to be on this goddamn turnpike so that i could go 80 miles an hour yeah and you motherfuckers are clogging it up with continual traffic for four miles at a stretch every with like two miles gap in between and you them. never see anybody working and you never see anybody ever. working. of course i'm only ever on the turnpike on weekends but right fuck. yeah Pay them. Yeah. Get them out there. Fucking finish that Why shit. Why aren't they there on the weekends? I have to fucking work on the weekend. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Fuck those turnpike people. I am sure. I am sure that everybody that listens to this episode is going to tell us the exact same thing. And that is that their city or town that they live in always seems to have like a road that is under construction. I challenge because I think Wichita is the one that has every fucking street at some point. Any, but not anymore. Not anymore? No, they've actually like gotten Kellogg, the main street that goes through Wichita for the first time since the 70s, I think it was, or early 80s, has zero construction on it. For the first time since the 70s? Yeah, that's right, my fucking right. point. Right. But so they're getting ready to start it. That was getting, my point when I said not anymore. Yeah, but they're getting See, ready to start it again. They are getting ready to start They're getting ready to start, to start again. again. They just got it done. I know, but right. they got shit to fix since the 70s. Well, give them a break. Okay. JP, you get your last two picks. Um, okay, the first one is Asians. 
Uh, just take that. Just in general. Just in general. <laughs> Even um, if they're walking on the sidewalk. Yeah, no. <laughs> you. I don't care if they're biking. I don't care if they've got a rickshaw. I, I don't, don't care. I, it's, I, I don't. <laughs> take it. your gong and shove it up your ass. Yes, absolutely. I don't know if I could put this on Facebook. Will we get kicked? I think we can. Uh, uh, should, should I, okay, should we, should we should do it like Honda drivers or something like that. Asians. <laughs> right. I don't know if we could put this on social I'm sorry, media. but. Okay, okay, should I put like. Look, man, it ro- is what it is. We, okay, we, rice rockets? I don't like Asian <laughs> That's drivers. Motorcycles. Asian drivers. Okay, fine. Fuck it. Ugh. Yeah, we're not racist on this. On this I'm not racist. <laughs> They're just, Asians just happen to be bad. They drivers. just don't just deserve <laughs> the same rights as everybody else. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if they are citizens. They don't they, deserve the same rights and privileges. Like old people, take a fucking Uber. <laughs> Save everybody's life. <laughs> right. So uh, that's that's one. Take a rift. Yeah, and your last pick. Uh, my last pick is uh, when a hot guy goes by. <laughs> oh, no. And you see a hot guy and... It, it's his ugly ass bitch that's driving the car. <laughs> what? Like, you see a hot guy, I'm mad because he's already with a girl. That pisses me off already. Oh, but the God. fact that he's letting her drive on top of it, okay. because women and Asians are a lot alike. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just going to put women driver. <laughs> okay, just put women drivers. <laughs> that's that, fine. That, because that wins the draft. Good JP night. just won the fucking draft. Uh, Jeremy, last uh, last pick for you, buddy. It doesn't so matter. If he's going women, women drivers, I'm going women's suffrage. <laughs> women's suffrage. I mean, that was fuck, bullshit. That, I mean, I'm still so furious over that. I wasn't even alive when that happened. Well, don't worry. We're trying to walk it all back no. right now. Yeah. Please and thank you. Oh, God. Ever since then, it's been nothing but back sass from right. them. Right. Uh, oh, no, people who don't know how to use a four-way stop. Oh, damn it. That was it. I figured for sure that would come back to me. Yeah, Wrong, didn't. fucker. Oh. Guess you're going to have to come up with something else. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. You suck. How did you only have five things that piss you off on the road? Those were my top ones. He, he took my one well, of my last six. And that was... That was uh, Asians. No, women. <laughs> women drivers. Oh, God damn it. Son of a bitch. No, this could be. We were making really good ooh, time. Ooh, ooh, wait, ooh, ooh, hold ooh, on. No, no, wait I, a minute. I got it. Go for it. I got it. People that drive with their lights off at night that don't turn their lights <laughs> I think lights those on. are called criminals. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could just put criminals. No, no, people that accidentally do this, like they don't they haven't got up with the times and got a new enough vehicle to where they have a little switch that is automatic so it sees when it's fucking dark to turn your goddamn lights on. Poor no. people. Yeah, poor people. So poor that's people what really enrages rich. you. Poor yes. people. Poor people need people to who get can't afford the cars. electric bill yeah. right. to keep those lights on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lights off at night. Lights off at night. Yeah. That'll definitely piss scotty off it will because i can't see you it's yeah. dangerous well they can't see you either yeah so that's true can i just put cops down there can i just put police officers as my last pick i mean absolutely just to, i mean we maybe got you should have led with that we got every other uh you know yeah just group put of, cops just put cops cool. they sit there with the lights off and they speed trap your ass yeah, i think that's do. bullshit that is bullshit any any uh any honorable mention oh you guys jesus yes uh a lot of them that either were too long or just didn't quite fit. But, uh, okay, when you're trying to pull out onto a busy street mm-hmm. and, like, out of a parking lot and somebody in a bigger vehicle pulls out just a little further than you can so you can't yes. see the fucking <laughs> Who's oncoming traffic, oh, even though they're, no. they're up higher than you, so clearly they can see, but they block your fucking view yeah, like they're okay. the only ones who matter. I'm, yeah, be- I'm begging. I am, I am begging you. One just hit me, me and, too. and and I really, really want it. And that is, can I have this? Yeah. I can have this? Okay. Sure, man. Not using the fucking turning lane when you're turning left in the street. That'll get you killed. Or how oh. about using the turning lane as an 
Oh, an on lane. Oh, no, that's like a, that's to okay. turn out. You do that. Yo, that's illegal. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah, and it pisses me off. <laughs> you, I live on Rock Road, bitch. I well, gotta, I gotta do that. Yeah, yeah. No, but not using the turning lane to turn left, and you're stopping traffic. Scotty oh. doesn't live on Rock Road, by the way. You can eliminate that one. I'm sorry, not yeah. Rock Road. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. I was like, I'm in the wrong place. I'm trying to disguise my address, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> right, and wow. I'm telling him there's some shit you can cross off <laughs> okay. if you're <laughs> trying to narrow it down. So, yeah, you can have it, but if you win with it, it's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm using that you one. can use it not using it's the, the winner that's bullshit turn. Uh, uh the guy on his dui scooter <laughs> i i think that typically falls under the same category as bicyclists yeah, yeah. it's um, cyclists. cyclists yeah yeah let's see there was there was another good one that oh people who don't know how to make a fucking left turn and who cut it too close and almost fucking hit you yep. at the goddamn intersection yep semis love doing that shit well they kind of have to do that <laughs> i give them a special pass but right. semis who can't stay in their own fucking lane mm-hmm. uh people who stay right on your fucking flank like yeah. right in your blind spot right in your blind spot yeah that pisses me off and too. you try to slow down so they slow down and it's like are you trying to make me get into a fucking accident with you so you can oh. file a lawsuit oh uh, man they're all just coming in right now not when you're in the left lane not passing that drives me nuts too the left lane is supposed to be used for passing and if you were going the exact same speed as the guy in the right lane you can't get around anybody fuck those guys god he's starting to get pissed off oh man i get he's, mad it's starting to boil he's starting to boil he's coming oh, no. up with all of them now. oh no dude that like I, I have bad, bad road rage. Chances are, if you've been in front of me while driving, I don't care if you're a relative or, or a wife. I have bitched at you <laughs> behind you, whether you realize it or not. That's, that's the thing with me. People right. who cover the back of their cars with fucking bumper stickers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Has yeah. anybody ever had their mind changed? because of a, <laughs> Oh, that's who I'm going to vote for because of that bumper sticker. I never even thought about that. Nope. Nope. In in fact, and it's like stereotype. It's like a stereotype of the people that have all those fucking bumper stickers. It comes yeah. on both sides of the aisle, though. Yes, and, and, it does. But you're not really insured by Smith and Wesson. Come on, dude. Yeah, right. 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 Jesus, exactly. Jesus better not be your co-pilot because there's nobody else in the car. <sighs> yep. Uh, I do. I do think this. And to go with me. If and again, this is not a political show, and I'm not trying to be political. But I got a question. So the uh, Ross Perot. <laughs> no, I got a question. Do you think you would get out of a lot more tickets if you had a Blue Lives Matter sticker on your car? I don't know. No, no, you don't no think but so? you can get out of a lot of tickets by blowing the car. <laughs> I figured you'd probably say that. You, uh, I can tell you this: in the last uh, five years, I believe I've been pulled over four times for speeding very close to my house, and I've been given warnings every time. Uh, being a middle-aged white guy in a Volvo station <laughs> <That helps>. wagon. <laughs> That'll do it every time. You don't need bumper stickers. Yeah, <laughs> they just, just assume you're not yeah. out there hurting anybody. <laughs> He'll you're, be all right. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. He right. pays his taxes. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, guys. Well, you can look at or you can vote for your favorite list of things that would give you road rage on Facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines. Um, you can vote by using the corresponding emoji for the person that has that list. Uh, it'll be up on Wednesday, uh, but normally it's before lunchtime. And whoever wins the draft gets championship picks next week. Um, maybe. We'll see. Yeah. But anyways, guys, thank no, you. No, they do. Oh, they do? Oh, yeah, they, they do. Get, they well, get the championship pick. JP may not be here next week. Yeah. Oh, no. And, and I he, plan on winning. And he plans on win, win, winning he because he, he got women drivers, period. And that, Asians. And Asians. That I'm going to have to figure out a way to put that on Facebook without not getting taken down. Look, I kind of thought that was like a, duh, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no, yeah. Everybody knows that. Right. Of course they do. Uh-huh. That's like, you know, being rear-ended. Yeah, it pisses you off. Correct. Yeah. Not not JP. I, he's, he, he likes that, yeah, I noticed. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. All right, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer. And Legos. Jeremy? What? Legos. Yeah. 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 Brought to you by Legos. All right. Fine. (laughs) Fuck it, Scotty. I'll do it. (laughs) Okay. On July 13th, 1944, at Port Chicago, which is right where you'd think it'd be in California, (laughs) the uh, SSEA Brian uh, pulled into port with empty cargo holds. 
However, it did have a full complement of 5,292 barrels of fuel oil. Later that morning, men began uh, loading said vessel with uh, munitions, very dangerous ones. Mm. Uh, They started working around the clock, uh, working for the next several days. By the evening of July 17th, it was about 40% full. At 10 p.m. that night, they began loading 1,000-pound uh, bombs and uh, anti-submarine depth charges, which uh, were made with Torpex explosive. It's a plastic explosive that uh, emits a toxic uh, explosive fume. Uh, not a good idea, as it turns out, because at approximately 10.18 p.m., eyewitnesses reported uh, hearing an explosion. And apparently not a uh, small one either. Uh, An Air Force pilot reported seeing a fireball three miles wide. (laughs) Oh, shit. All 320 servicemen on the pier were killed instantly, most of them vaporized, along with 390 other service people who were much further away and civilians being severely injured. And... Now your child can recreate the magic of this moment (laughs) using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos. I got nothing. (laughs) Boom. (laughs) Boom. (laughs) I forgot to come out with a fucking tagline. (laughs) TNT, it's Dino Mike. (laughs) I'm sorry, but does anybody else think that that would be one Badass Lego sets. I'd be, I'd buy it. I'd buy that shit too. I hope those Legos are made with Torpex. Right. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation is: Would you rather lose a no hitter or get stuck behind an Asian woman driving a smart car ten miles an hour under the speed limit? Wearing her mask, only taking it down so she could take a puff off of her cigarette. Oh. Yeah, I'd rather lose a no-hitter. This no-hitter thing is going to be easy. popular today, yeah. kids. I am uh, as embarrassing Absolutely. as embarrassing as that would fucking You're be. You're still a millionaire. You're still playing baseball for a living. Yes. You're still Nobody said it was life. in the major leagues. Maybe it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it was actually T-ball is no. what yeah, it was. Well, yeah, you threw a no-hitter in <laughs> T-ball. No hitter Dude, in that's, T-ball. That's pretty tough to do. Yeah. That is tough. Uh, yeah, th- it's not even close. Yeah, this is a nightmare. This second one is, yeah. this is hell. This, this, yeah. it, God knows me well enough. That would be hell for me. No hitter. I'm sorry. I got. I I'm took the you, L Scotty. on this one. Me yeah. too. Jeremy? Yeah, I'd, it, that wouldn't piss me off. That would just, I'd laugh at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm in no fucking hurry anymore <laughs> to get really anywhere and if, if there's a nice show like that going on up in front of me, I'll happily stay behind that person and just watch that fucking freak for a while. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, man. You're, you're, do, you're doing the baseball game, right, Jeremy? No, I'll drive behind the... <laughs> no. no. You said he'll drive behind the Asian no. woman in the mask. Yeah. And no. J- I guess I've just grown a tolerance for those people. Um, by that, I mean Asians. Uh, I'm going to add on one thing. They, they're they not going the same speed. They're like, their speed is fluctuating, so you can't set the cruise. That's fine. I'm paying very close attention to them. Because <laughs> I'm watching oh, that douchebag. And you can't drive next to him to see how stupid that yeah. bitch looks. You know right. what I'm saying? You don't uh, get as good a view that way. No. Oh. I want to... It's like watching through a fucking widescreen TV if you're looking through their windshield. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, man, guys. I had a lot of fun on this episode. I really did. JP, it was awesome to have you back. It was man. awesome to be back. We man. like having you back. I love, I love hanging out. Man. I, don't, I don't know if you've heard uh, by any chance, but there's this rumor going around of us possibly doing a live show. Have you heard about I've that? heard that rumor. Yeah. And man, I'll tell you, if you do it and you don't make me a part of it, I'll <laughs> fucking call a fucking bomb threat oh, in. Oh, I will. Really? I'll do whatever I need to he do to disrupt gonna, the show. He was just going to tell you where to get tickets. I was just going to tell uh, you where to get tickets. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Ah, you, I mean, we'd, we'd hey, comp you. I'll tell you what. If you if <laughs> go ahead and try, <laughs> okay. See what happens. No, let man. me. Let, yeah. No. See what happens. No. Uh, the closer that we get to that, the more details that we have, uh, we will we will share those. Um, we do know at We're least pretty certain on the date, aren't we? Uh, not quite, not a hundred percent sure yet. We do know it'll be in the middle of October. I hopefully will know by next week. 
um, exactly what day we're going to be going for. And um, <clears throat> we'll also have a little bit more information as far as tickets, because yes, we will pre-sale tickets. That way we know exactly how many people are going to show up and whether or not it's actually going to happen. <clears throat> we need to, uh, we're going to try and gather all the information we can too for people who are coming from out of town about local hotels. Yes. We're going to try and work out something to get some kind of a special rate. I don't know if that's going to work out or not. Right. Uh, but <clears throat> we're going to try and do everything we can to make it as easy on people as we possibly can and do a good show. Absolutely. Yeah, we got some ideas thrown around there. Mm-hmm. but. Yeah, uh, it will be awesome. It'll be it'll be a lot of fun. We're really excited about that. Thank you to all the people that gave us such positive uh, feedback for that. Um, the way you could really do that is by pre uh, when the pre sale comes out for tickets is letting us know how many people are actually going to be there well in advance. Yeah, that's going to be our head count. <clears throat> and and exactly. I'm sure that there are plenty of fans who are like, I can't go, but I want to support, so I'll buy some tickets. Don't do don't that. do that. Yeah, because that's how they're going to know how to staff the bar and all exactly. that by how many tickets we <clears throat> sell. So please. Uh, Buy a ticket and come. Yeah, and 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 all or don't and don't. Yeah, or don't, don't and don't. I don't give a uh, fuck. A lot of people have I asked. Don't give a fuck. A lot of people have asked if we are going to do this show live. No, we are not going to do it we live. Not live stream it. We're not going to live stream it. We will record it though. Mm-hmm. Uh, we will record it to where you can watch the uh, the episode on on uh, YouTube like you normally can. Uh, and it's God gonna, only we could never do anything live. N- we can and stream it. We, we would be sued <laughs> yeah. by, by so many people. Yeah, we and would. mostly the yeah. ACLU picketed <laughs> yeah. and the you think ricin sent to our homes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll man. get docs. Yeah, you. Yeah. you I'm and sure. And by that I mean they'll send us docents. Like you that's, just yeah. fucking <laughs> just made <laughs> of them out of pop. Por- and I have one. And to call that thing a dog is bullshit. Yeah. It's more of a stupid cat, really. And yeah. um, no, they're great, but <clears throat> I wouldn't wish that on anybody. <laughs> I see us getting sued by the LGBTQ community, and one of us is part of that fucking community. Mm-hmm. So, <sighs> hey, they calm down. They don't even like each other anymore. Exactly. It's getting to that point. But anyways, uh, thank you very much, JP, again, for coming out. We do appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. The closer we get to the live show, we will have uh, those guests on there. We know. um, And just forewarning, if I'm not part of the show and you guys realize I'm not part of the show, don't go to the show because (laughs) some bad shit will happen. I promise you. Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Anyways, guys, uh, thank you very much. We do appreciate it. Again, those details will come out the closer that we get to it, and hopefully we have uh, all of those details very, very soon. But until uh, that time, uh, keep your eyes peeled. But uh, thank you very much Uh, again, JP. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, Another great episode without Derek here. Go figure. Um, Shocker. Yeah, shocker. Uh, But anyways, guys, uh, like we always say, thank you very, very much for helping us grow the show. Share our TikToks, comment. That helps us grow. Subscribe on YouTube. Subscribe on YouTube, absolutely. Get the notification button as well on TikTok and YouTube, so that way you can see all of our TikToks come out whenever they do. I I found that out. That's a new thing. Uh, But as always, we like to say, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us... I hope your morning commute is fraught with Asian women. (laughs) (laughs) If you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. I want to be like Mike. (laughs) Until next time. Keep laughing, assholes. We'll see y'all later. Take care.